Howdy, and welcome to The Legend of Zelda The Minish Cap. On the last episode, we finished The Cave of Flames, and I had to look up the name for that level because I sat down to record and I was like, yeah, The Sanctuary of Fire, that's what we did last time. Sanctuary of Fire, not what we did last time. That one is from uh, Skyward Sword. Not this game, this one, Cave of Flames. Uh, so we did uh, the Cave of Flames. We got the Fire Element, which is one of the special good MacGuffin thingies we need. Uh, but this one is a fire flavored, as opposed to the earth flavored one we got from uh, the Deepwood Shrines. Ah, uh, dang, I was hoping to throw that over the ledge and just smack that tech tight in the face. Uh, so we got that, and we need we need four good elements to make good things happen. The good thing we want to happen is we want to uncurse uh, the Princess Zelda. She's got, she got turned into stone by Vati. And uh, I'm not just saying this for for y'all. I you know this this isn't just like hey in case you don't remember. This is also like I I <laughs> I need to refresh myself. It's been a, it's been a it's been a minute. So uh, you know that's what we're doing. Uh, we're we're heading off to the elemental the elemental 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 got there eventually sanctuary, uh, which is said to be somewhere on the the grounds of uh, Hyrule Castle or something. Uh, Kinstone piece. Um, I did some research into kinstone pieces, and boy, information on kinstone stuff, a little, little inconsistent on the internet. Uh, we'll, we'll talk about that. Uh, we'll do some kinstone stuff uh, this episode, more than likely, because kinstones, they're big. They're, every, well, they're not actually, I was going to say they're not all that large, but, you know, when you pick them up, they're about the size of an entire, like, lynx head, um, long said, excuse me. So th they are pretty sizable things if you were to assume that. But you know, it's a video game. You you, uh, you understand f fiction and stuff. Not all things are the way they seem to be. Oh hey, didn't see you there. So there's actually a shortcut that we could have used to have gotten to the castle a little bit quicker rather than going through Castle Town. It's not like the world's most useful shortcut, but it does exist. And I figured we'd check it out, and then we get to kill a Keaton. And we love to kill Keatons because we're messed up like that, I guess. We come over here, we hit a switch, and there's a little bridgey bridge that opens. We get the bloop, bloop, bloop noise I like. And from there, it's just a nice little shortcut you can take uh, to get to the castle a little bit quicker. Uh, I just need to see that animation again because it looks like Lonk's eyes, like, kind of... Yeah, they <laughs> whenever Lonk lands in the hole, like, eyes bulge out a little bit. That's really cute, and I didn't notice that. Uh, but more importantly, ca castle... It's right here. This is where uh, Zelda got hit by the the Deku nut. This the way these sprites like uh, interact, um, like the cliffside going down, coming towards us, and going away from us to create the the water. Uh, just the fact that they line up with very little border in between them makes that look a little strange. Not to talk shit about the sprites in this game, because you know I've said it several times already. <laughs> the sprite work in this game pretty good. Also looking into because um, I've done. A wee bit of research in between uh, this episode and the last one, just for uh, stuff and reasons. Um, and, you know, harpies, nice. Um, you know, stuff and reasons. I uh, did research and looking into it, um, a lot of the uh, the the sprites in this game are shared. But well, not a lot, but uh, there are qu uh, quite a number of sprites that are shared uh, between this game and Four Swords. So they, you know, they had it in Four Swords and they're like, oh yeah, we got this. It's good. You know, why, why, why even do, why even make a new one? Because the sprites, you know, they're all sprites. And it looks like the guards don't want us to walk around uh, the castle at the moment. As guards are wont to do. Um, I thought we might be able to explore the garden a little bit. But now, I guess we should start go looking for the sanctuary on the inside. Are you sure I look all right? I never know what to wear to formal occasions. Um, are you wearing anything? That's, that's a question, like, one would assume... Uh, Ezlo. Ezlo is like a hat goose thing, right? Uh, the, so I would assume hat goose, the hat part is its its body, right? Like, Ezlo is the hat goose. Like, it, it, maybe Ezlo's just, Ezlo's probably just having a little goofer with us. Like, haha, look at my, what am I wearing? I'm naked, bruddy. Bruddy? You know, some people call people bruddies. Lock the second look. See how the doorway glows? Could that be the door that leads to the sanctuary nobody in the castle seems to be able to see it but you and me let's go quickly i don't know how you made the assertion that only we can see it but hey i'll trust you as well you're a smart duck goose hat and i am but a simple boy so you know i i would trust you more than i would trust my uh instincts on this very fancy so this is the elemental sanctuary then. This is where you can infuse your blade with the power of the elements. Yes, there seems to be a pedestal for your sword right in the middle there. Yes, a, a pedestal for a sword of master light quality. Our white sword, which I guess the white sword in um, like Zelda 1 was like the master sword sort of. I mean, I, I think there's a, there's a better one than the white sword because the white sword is the one you get from the 
the waterfall guy, and then there's a guy in, uh, in the graveyard, I think, who gives you a better one when you got even more hard. I don't know. Uh, it's been a long time since I played Zelda 1. Oh, but hey, something happened. The powers of earth and fire elements have infused your blade. Yeah, so we didn't have a, a green-handled sword for very long. That always makes me a little sad, because green, my favorite color, and very quickly it goes away. Mm -hmm. Let's see if I can't read this tablet for you. Fill your sword with the power and walk on the, over the glowing tile. Hmm, perhaps it refers to those flashing spots on the floor around you. Well, what are you waiting for? Try it, Lock the Second. Yeah, so now we have... I've gone too far! Sorry, I'm so sorry, Eslo. I was just, just walking around. Okay, so yeah, we can now charge up our sword, and we see a meter up here. Once the meter is fully charged, we can step on glowing panels, and we can duplicate ourselves. Whoa, you just split in two. So this is the power of the white sword. I guess you can double yourself like that anytime you see those panels. And so anytime we see these panels, we just charge up our blade, and, you know, once it start, does the... You can do your spin attack. More importantly than doing a spin attack, we now have... Puzzle opportunities, opera puzzleties, in which we can now duplicate ourselves and we can solve puzzles. Everybody's favorite. Everybody's favorite solving puzzles. I, there was a bit of snark and stank on that comment. Legitimately, my favorite part of the Legend of Zelda series. I love. Oh, look, this nice little like sword uh, engraving thing on the side. I almost said indentation engraving. Same thing. Who cares? Whatever. We got a special sword that can co copy ourselves. We can do some puzzle stuff. I love puzzles. I love puzzle dungeons. The puzzle box stuff in Zelda. Just mm, mwah, my favorite part of the series, which I know isn't like a big like, oh, you like the dungeons the most? <laughs> look at look at this radical. What is he saying? Uh, but I, I don't know. I, I enjoy a good puzzle. You know, you, you do a good puzzle. You have a good time. You get how it is. And uh, do we really have any direction where we should be going next? Uh, oh, I hit. The... Yeah, there we go. Got to remember how the buttons work. Uh, there'll be places marked on our map by the Minish Elder. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, we can we can check out our map, but uh, more specifically, there should be a mark out on the westernmost edge of the Castor Wilds. Is the Castor Wilds the area we were in previously? Uh, the the Trilby Highlands. Uh, yeah, we don't have Castor Wilds, but I believe Castor Wilds is this area over here, just using my my knowledge of having played the video game before. I'm uh, just going to cheat a little bit there. And so there we go. We infused our sword with great power, and we can head out on our adventure. <laughs> Interesting, you're the last person I expected to find here. And just as I was wondering who could be behind this, I find my old master. Spoilers. V Vati, once trained under the great power of Lonk. Vati. And as always, you are dressed in <laughs> the shabbiest of racks. Oh, I guess maybe that comment was about formal dressing. My curses are not to be mocked. The one I cast on you is most powerful. No matter what power you wield, you will never break it. You haven't changed in the slightest. I should have never created that cap. It only fueled your insane desires. Fool, a hat that grants the wishes of its wearer is a spectacular creation. Vati is not incorrect. That is pretty incredible. Thanks to you, I have gone from being a meek, minuscule nothing to the greatest sorcerer alive. You cannot stop me now, and I have you to thank for it. Accept the small gesture of gratitude from me. That's not, you just, he ran away. That's not a, that's not a gesture of gratitude at all. But this is a gesture of gratitude. We're in some moblins for us to fight. And they got the good uh, moblin design from uh, Wind Waker. Because like I said, Toon Zelda, we're, we're going to reuse those designs as they should be. Because they're great designs. I probably should have swapped my shield. But, you know, whatever. We're an expert swordsman. We don't need the board. We can just sword. That foul Vati. What could he be scheming now? Lump the second. I feel I owe you an explanation of what has happened. You see, Vati and I are both Minish. I was once a famous sage and a renowned, renowned Minish craftsman. Vati was only a boy when I took him in as my apprentice. Uh, it, it was actually my apprentice. Uh, so, sorry. Uh, you, 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 you didn't listen to what I was saying. You've missed the plot here, uh, Ezlo. But he became enchanted by the wickedness in the hearts of men, as we all do. One day, Vati took a hat I made for the humans, my pride and joy. It granted the wishes of its wearer. He put it on without permission. And so we got a good old wishing hat. Everybody loves a wishing hat. Look how cute little Vati is as well. Vati, what are you doing here? Or there. I, I clicked before I read it all the way. He got so big. 
he got the wishing hat and he was like, I wish I was like big instead of cute, like hot, you know, it's, it's a good first wish. Oh, what a vile form you've taken. You've been coming so hot. I hate it. Vile. I am a sorcerer now and my power is beyond compare. No longer will I tire away as your apprentice. Now all shall call me master. Why, Vati, what are you plotting? This year, on the day that comes but once a century, the portal opens, and when it does, I shall claim the light force as my own. I will be transformed perfect, and there will be none who can stop me. And then, you've seen this before, you get hit with a, a cursey ball, and you ga, and then you turn into stone. But as we know, good old Ezlo did not turn into stone. Ezlo turns into our, our favorite, the origin of... The Legend of Zelda tr registered trademark link trademark hat. Ah, ha, 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 ha. that's not your usual. <laughs> Tell me, how does it feel, my sorcerer's curse? Do you see, Ezlo? I am truly your master now, and you cannot stop me. And with that, I must be leaving. Goodbye. And then does the cool shadow warpy out? You know the legends, of course. The gifts of the Pakori, the Pakori gave the humans. What you call the Pokori Blade was the first of those gifts, the second. Well, you call it you call it Light Force, but it is a source of limitless magical power. Unlike my wishing hat, that that that's got limits. Wishes as wishes there's always deals and, you know, limits and rules and amounts of them. Uh, if Vati were to get it now, it would be devastating. I came to the world of men, hoping to stop Vati, and I met you in the woods. But it seems we won't be breaking the curse on me anytime soon. However, with the Sacred Blade, we can certainly restore Princess Zelda. I'm sorry. All that has happened has been due to my own pride, my folly. I must rely on your... I must rely on you, on your power, until we've put an end to Vati. And then, yeah, just get, get up back on my head. I wish you perhaps let me pick you up instead of like smacking the fa or whatever. Well, Lunk the Second, enough fairy tales. Everything I said was a lie. Sorry, goodbye. Uh, we must search for the next element. Okay, well we'll do that. Uh, yeah. So so there's there's the plot of the game. I actually couldn't remember how long it took to get to the. <gasps> the, the, the Ezlo is actually Minish. Oh oh no, and and so is Vati. Oh no, and. Uh, Ezlo is a cursed hat person and not just a hat person. Ezlo was not born from an illustrious family of duck goose hats. This is an unfortunate thing that has happened to our friend Ezlo. Uh, but yeah, there you got it. I find it interesting too, um, once Vati transforms into like Sorcerer Vati instead of the cute little patootie, cutie patootie form. Uh, I think we still got a fairy in a bottle. Yeah, because we, uh, we beat the heck out of Glee Rock. Glee Rock could do nothing uh, to our powers of being able to flip the rock-like shell on its back. Uh, n absolutely nothing it could do to stop us, uh, and eh, it'll have to deal with that. Uh, but I, I find it interesting that um, Vati's hat goes from being um, the red wishing hat uh, to the purple one. In fact, I think in some official art, Vati has the, the red wishy hat uh, as opposed to uh, the, uh, the, the purple one. Uh, that could just be bad memory on my part or maybe just different designs of Vati hey. uh, because Vati I probably mentioned this before but Vati was the uh, antagonist in uh, the Four Swords games uh, and I, I don't know if Vati has a sorcerer form in that game it's been a minute oh is this not what we do to that oh I don't know if that's not it I thought I thought when you saw these you just hit it with a good old smack rule smackaroo of the cane of uh, Pocky and it just flipped over. Oh well. <laughs> Let's get out of here. I remembered incorrectly. That's fine. Also, I thought this area would lead us to uh, the Castor Wilds. I was like, oh, it's in the, the bottom right. I guess we gotta go over there. Bottom left, not right. I, I know my directions. Because you can make a you can make a Luigi with your left hand and you make a with your wrong hand. And that's how you remember it. Because uh, you know, we don't like that one. Oh man, I'm gonna have to remember to censor that, that name. Man, I hate that guy. No people, I know people like that guy. Not not a fan of of that one. The one who isn't Luigi. The, the stupid Mario. The other, the other you know, we, we, we've been over there. Actually, what the hell was over here? Oh, there was like a business scrubber. Yeah, you sold us the, the bottle that we needed, I think. I think that was your deal. Oh, yeah, we've been seeing these little tiles out and about. 
Uh, now whenever we see him, we can duplicate ourselves and we can do stuff. You can see the meter kind of decrease, so you don't just have a buddy friend for the rest of your life. Also, you can cancel it with R. You can smash them into the walls uh, and they'll explode and go away. We got some blue Octoroks. Uh, they're a nice shade of blue, like a nice light blue, as opposed to like, you know, I always imagine them with a more of a darker blue. Um, just, some, just some keys uh, guarding a kinstone piece. Uh, a red one. Is that our first red one? I don't think it is. I think we got some uh, red ones while we were in the cave of flame up oh, nope that's that's not kinstones at all those that's paper oh, oh yeah okay so that's the second red one we've gotten and we will we will talk about the the kinstones my information's probably i gotta learn which these buttons are which my my information's probably not going to be the smartiest or like the most like definitive you could listen to me speak and then know everything about kinstones just because like i said it was a little oh another uh, mysterious seashell thank you um it, the information was a little all over the place oh we saw you you were the bard but I'll do my best. Hello, I am Percy, Poet Laureate of Hyrule. I did not know they had a Poet Laureate. And you are Long the Second. Oh, no, no, the pleasure is mine. I travel all over the realm, writing verse wherever I go. But here I am, returning after a long absence, only to find the road blocked. It wouldn't feel like... S it wouldn't feel like such a waste if I hadn't lost half of my... Kinstone. When misfortune rains down upon my head, it pours in torrents. I think I may have dropped it in the end. I stayed at it last night. I see no other course than to put these tragic events to verse. I see stars beyond the rainbow, but I cannot reach them. Though the stone I lost is small, large was its place in my heart. Damn. Okay, well. Poet Laureate. Percy. Percy. The Percy Laureate needs us to uh, go find their kinstone. It's just in the, the, the N and town. The N N N N N town. The N N town. As I'm just gonna I'm gonna stop saying because I'll just keep saying N N N N N for the rest of the episode. If I don't control myself, because you know, you say something fun, and then it was like that was a lot of fun to say. I'm going to continue saying it, even though it's a bad idea to continue saying it. and I oh I already have bombs equipped. Because this looks like that looks like prime bombing material to me. Also, we've made a little shortcut, so now we don't have to go the whole way around. Oh, just some fairies in here. I, I suppose I could have eaten a fairy since I am down a heart. Um, but, you know, I'll I'll leave the fairy alone for the time being. Oh, uh, uh, oh my god. That sprite of them looking side to side. Now them looking straight on at the camera. Ezla looking straight at the camera. Not great, but them, like, side to side was great. Huh? What a strange feeling. I sense something from the castle's direction. Or was it just me? Well, clear. Well, I was going to say clearly Long felt it as well, but... I guess if Ezlo moves, it's going to kind of dart uh, Long's head around as well. Hey! Hmm, who's there? What? Vati? How did you get near? Oh, magic shadow warping. Oh, see, uh, King uh, Ru Rudolph? Is this King Randolph? I I don't know. King Gustav? Who, who even, I think Gustav is Breath of the Wild. I don't know. All the kings have offy names. But yeah, asked and answered. How'd you get in here? And then Vati Warpskin. Ugh, what are you doing? I didn't have to laugh. Vati laughed for us. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I forgot the minister has Beatles voice. It looks like you're all here. Very well. The king of Hyrule has words for you. You know the power of the Pakori gave to mankind, do you not? The golden light force of limitless magical power. I want it! It is somewhere here in the Hyrule. Go now, bring me its power. This power, not its power. Waste no time. Go forth at once and bring me that the light force. I, I, the one time it says the in front of it, I go to say that instead. Fling anyone who refuses into the dungeon. Him and his family too. I will tolerate no disobedience. Now search high and low throughout the lands of Hyrule. See, the king's just gotten a little antsy because uh, Princess Zelda's turned to stone. Nothing like weird possession or anything. Hmm, maybe it's just the wind. But I hope nothing bad has happened. Anyway, we need to look for the next element. The map says it should be somewhere. Around here, around here somewhere. I can read. I can read real well. I remember, so like, when I was in elementary school, they used to do like reading, like comprehension stuff. And I guess they did reading comprehension. I guess it less became reading comprehension over time. It was more just like, Let's do a reading test on how good you read and think about literature and stuff, uh, as opposed to, hey, bro, how well do you read? But I remember, remember as as child in child form, like reading comprehension, and at a point in like elementary school, we're like, wow, you read at like a college level, and I was like, oh damn, I've made it, I'm done, I've I've got it. 
But it turns out, if you don't read uh, as often as one might do uh, as small child, you may uh, you may become less good at reading and stuff over time. I don't know. Uh, there's probably more to that. I don't. Hey, this moblin has a bow. I guess there were moblins that um, and the 2D ones that shot um, arrows. It's just you know they wouldn't have the swords in front of them, and you never really saw them wielding uh, the bow. So it is interesting to see that. We see a lot of these um, uh, just slumped over stumps, uh, logs, trees, dead tree. It's not like a full-on stump. Uh, it's a trunk. It's it's a tr it's a full-on trunk, not a not a full-on stump though. You, you know. Uh, oh, nope, that's a that's 20 rupee. I would like that. Oh, and I think our max is 300 rupees. I probably should have bought some things while we were in town uh, so we wouldn't be wasting any money. Ah, uh, but hey, whatever. I'm sure we'll go back to town sooner or later. And oh, look, the Minish's bed. The the blanket's a little yellow leaf. That's very cute. I, I love these little fuckers. I plan on being near my house, but it just doesn't want to grow. I'm sorry for calling you a little fucker, but it's fine because of like how how YouTube stuff works. None of this is safe for kids anymore. I'm not even gonna pretend that it is. So I can call I can call them sh cute little fuckers if I want. And yeah, you know, this bean looks a lot like a rock, bro. And also looks like a huge bean. So that must have been like pretty a big undertaking for for uh, the Minish to just be like, yeah, I'm gonna plant this bean that's sh just way bigger than my body. Like I, we did it, but we're a powerful boy. We're not a cute little. Well, we're, we're, we are a cute little fucker. But you know what I mean. You understand? And uh, oh, geez, what are the birds? The, the crow enemies have a name in Zelda. Uh, they're like, start with a K, I think. Um, can't remember it off the top of my head. Hmm, so this must be the Castor Wilds. It, it's a nasty, dank place filled with swampland and mire. But we know there's an element waiting for us somewhere in here, so... In we go! Come on, Mark the Second! Into the muck with us! Yep. As Oh, hey, a Kenstone piece. Nice. Um... Ezlo has played a, a Dark Souls, not afraid, any you know, of the, the Souls type games, was not afraid of being poisoned. But unfortunately, this is not a poison swamp. Uh, I don't think we can walk fast enough to cross the swamp. We're going to have to find some way to get across safely. Well, luckily for us, we know. We know. Ezlo is just like, we can't walk across fast. So now we know that we just need to go to the tra track and teach long how to run um i guess it doesn't matter i guess i was gonna read that sign again but we we read the sign earlier you saw it said we need pegasus boots we do we, we we're zelda people we know you get the pegasus boots you, you go fast so we're gonna go find some pegasus i guess i could have gone the other way back into town but whatever it's not like it's a much longer uh trek back here and here we are in hyrule town now the the um the guards are out and about as opposed to standing here guarding they were told to go and look for the light force so this guy has moved to the right like six tiles not like you'd know but do you think it's safe to touch the light force with your bare hands i mean do you think it maybe burns or something probably really badly i imagine or maybe it feels really good it's it's gonna be one or the other it's not gonna be like you touch it and you're like oh it's just like smooth metal or whatever it's either gonna feel really good or really bad there's no in between Oh, uh, Postman. Let's see if we can... I can't believe the Postman doesn't have a name. Faster than fast delivery. Swift and certain. That's the Postman's aim. Uh, but the Postman has... Must deliver the mail. Hey, that's a Kinstone piece. Yeah, that's that's how it goes. So, Kinstones. Let's just talk about it while we uh, delay the Postman a little bit. Uh, the way the way Kinstones work is there's levels of rarity to them. So, green ones are the like common. Blue are like uncommon. Red are rare. Um, green and blue ones can be found... You know, you've, you've seen me pick up a few green ones just out of grass and stuff. Uh, apparently, blue ones can be found the same way, but are more likely to be found in chests, and red ones are chest only? The information is a little spotty, so that may be incorrect. But you might remember we had spots for uh, 11 kinstones in our kinstone bag. There isn't 11 total kinstone pieces, though. There are eight of these. There's three green ones, or, you know, three flavors of green with the, the way the... Um, indentations are uh three flavors of red but only two flavors of blue apparently and <laughs> we, we fused the kinstone and uh got uh the the post the other postman thinking about uh employment <laughs> i really wish i could do more to help people wait i've got it i'll ask swiftly to start up a newsletter for adventurers that'll be a great way to provide a useful service for everyone hmm it's going to be a lot of work though i should get marcy to help me yep we fused the kinstone and gave Two people, more like Swift, Swift Blade, ready has a job, but now Marcy has job job. Perfect, I can feel the super delivery power coursing through my veins. Now I return to my route refreshed. Yeah, that's good. 
Yeah, if you if you delay the postman long enough, eventually the postman just jumps over you, which is really good. And also, Beetle's here. We cleaned off the spot with our gust jar, uh, and once you do that, uh, Beetle will appear here. Oh, Beetle doesn't have the oh, huh? You, you know, be Beetle noises, which I I could totally remember off the top of my head. Uh, I can't believe I'm so on the ball with like yeah, Beetle noises, but now they're gone. You know what Beetle sounds like. Why, hello there. Thanks for coming by. I saw all kinds of Pika Light. Just put it in your bottle and good stuff will happen when you drink it. Or when you drink it with a little, like, musical. Um, okay, but yeah, the, the way this game works is, like, we, we speak to the thing that we want to buy uh, or carry it to the, the person if we're in uh, the shop shop. So, I don't care for Pika Light. Like, they're all 200 rupees, I believe. Uh, so, all these cost 200 rupees. Um, it's something that you can put in your bottle. Uh, <laughs> the white pika light is for people who like to get lucky. Uh, it, it helps you find consumed pieces. Uh, so the way it works is it's just something you keep in your bottle, and then you pop it, and then you have higher chances of finding things. So like this one was uh, hearts, this one was rupees, this one's kinstone pieces, and it just ups the chance of you finding these things for 30 seconds. But it's 200 rupees, which seems pretty steep. I'm not sure like if you were to get the green one and then pop it, you could recoup the 200 rupee cost uh and also like with kinstones eventually we're going to be able to buy kinstones we may be able to do it now i have no idea when it happens in the game so i don't know it just seems like a not the best use of money uh if you were to ask me uh so sorry beetle but your shop not all that useful to us uh, but here we go we were told to find pegasus boots and luckily for us the cobbler has just passed out and the shoes on the ground uh, so yes, I love that you just walk in here, puzzle complete sound, and then just straight up just passes out right in front of you. Oh, I can't skip this one. Oh, we can't skip this one because we've never transformed on top of a pot before. Ooh la la, we get to see what's in here. It's just some, just a little sprout breaking through the, well, I was going to say the bottom of the pot, but actually, as you can see, like the pot's flipped upside down. So like the top of the pot where the opening is, is pressed against the ground for some reason. That's right. Even some human objects are portals to the Minish world. Those Minish may not look like much, but they are quite crafty. And also those shoes that were blocking us conveniently disappeared because I was like, I don't know what we're going to do about that. But luckily, uh, the cobbler, uh, which I still confused about the cobbler because whenever you hear cobbler, I always thought of, you know, you can think of the dessert cobbler, but whenever I hear cobbler as a job, it always makes me think of someone who makes roads, because I guess cobblestone roads as opposed to shoe, but it is shoe, and we come over here and we can see, see the hands and like all the designs. Like I love the, the sprite work once you become small and get to see like what's up. But yeah, there's, there's Minish all over the cobbler's desk. Hello. Hey, hey, you're Lunk the second, right? You're the one that brought the sword to Master Malari. You're on a quest to help the princess, aren't you? I wish I could go on a quest, but then who'd make Rim's shoes for him? Ho ho, you need Pegasus boots? Why, you're just in time. We made a pair just now while Rim was sleeping, but only Rim can put the finishing touches on them. Ha ha, that sleepyhead Rim is nearly impossible to wake up. If you want to wake him, you'll need to get an item from Syrup's hut. It's a little bit of a trek, but we'll mark it on your map for you. Thank you very much. That is, you know, track, as track-wise as it could be, not that bad. So yeah, um... You got some some Minish doing the the elves and the cobbler, cobbler and the elves, the that little story fable thing where like the the elves come in and help the the cobbler finish the shoes while they're asleep. Uh, and I'm guessing those shoes that fell straight off the table were the shoes that the Pegasus boots that we're looking for. Him. But uh, yeah, we need we need to finish it, and it's the shoes aren't finished. They can't finish it. They need they need a little bit of help. Actually, let's go see what we can we can buy around here. Uh, before we take off again, because uh, we're going to be doing a lot of like um, si some side questing. Oh, you got a bottle in here. I forgot they had a bottle in here. We're going to be checking out, out town, looking around, seeing what's up. So we'll, we'll come and get that bottle, I'm sure. A uh, real bar. It's a real bargain at 300 rupees, which I'm just slightly. <laughs> I'm too clever by half. Yeah, I know. Um, yeah. Oh, we can just drop it. We don't have to take it all the way back. That's nice. I just I need six whole rupees. Um, OK, so I'll probably do some. You know, I'm going to go do that right now. I'm just going to go grind some root peas outside of town since there's monsters we can kill and stuff. And I'm going to grab that that, uh, that that boomerang just so we don't have to worry about our, our wallet uh, over flooding with money and stuff. Oh, and I guess there's rocks here in our way. Nice. I found a kinstone piece. Now we have enough root peas to get 
the goods because you know we want a boomerang boomerangs are great we all love boomerang uh this well-crafted weapon returns when thrown it also returns because it's back in video game well you are a big spender aren't you thank you uh yeah yeah i mean i guess that was the thing that you were charging the most for what did it, you take its place is this a bomb bag i think this is a like bigger bomb bag uh, the big bomb bag's a real bargain at 600 rupees. I could not afford it. Even if I tried, even if I filled my wallet up, it would still be half too empty uh, for you. And, you know, it'd be, I'd be too poor by half, um, which would be, you know, that, that doesn't allow me to afford it because you're, you're doing shopping stuff. Um, oh, yes, part, part of the kinstone stuff, as I was saying, you know, like, the, so there, there's eight types of kinstones that of, like, the, the blue, green, red. Also, I hate the way they lay line up in your inventory. I wish they stayed like stuck together by color or something um I, I, like the cut of the thing it doesn't look like there's a consistent cut style between them though but i just wish they grouped by color as opposed to like i guess whenever you pick them up i'm not not entirely sure um but there are you know eight types but we have 11 slots 11 have i been saying 11 and i'm wrong no there there is 11 i'm not wrong i i, I second guessed myself and I, sh I shouldn't have done that because i i can count i surprise myself sometimes but i can in fact count. Oh, peep hello Peep, peep distracted me. Um, so, so there's there's three that will go, quote unquote, unused. But we'll we'll, we'll see what they. Oh, I wanted to. Oh, I can throw my boomerang in here. Hell yes! I was like, ah, oh, uh, boy, I wanted to throw my boomerang, but luckily we can throw our boomerang around inside. You know, the Legend of Zelda boomerang. It's a, it's a kind of a weak weapon, a nice f free projectile. It's, it's for stunning people mostly. Uh, it doesn't really deal damage. But you know, it's it's a fun it's a fun novelty. You always want to get the boomerang. It's it's a good time. Also, cane Pocky, pachi, whatever it doesn't matter. We can we can we can flip over some pots and then we can climb up some things like we were we were told uh, a while back. Like hey, you can push things. We can come up here. And I love. Um, I think there's a few sections like this in the game uh, where you come up like in the rafters and like you can see the area below and it's like um, there's like a blur like effect on it. Um, oh hey. I like the I like the blue hats that the tail finish wear, and you like I like the red hats. Just just trade hats, buddy. Oh, and you have a thing for us. Oh, the last part of kinstones. So kinstones are a little bit random, as you've seen. Like I've just been picking up kinstones like randomly. Um, so there's a bit of an RNG element to finding the kinstones. Uh, but the the um, kinstone fusions. I've seen some people say like, oh yes, certain colors are complete. Oh hey, a golden octorok. Oh wow, damn. Uh, it's a special enemy that get up here by a kinstone fusion that's worth a lot of money. <laughs> that fit perfectly. I wonder if that means we're in for good luck. I, yeah, I, there's a there's a golden octorok in my future at the very least. Um, but th these these area sprite ways just look nice. That, that's all I was gonna say about that. That it's, it's just very nice and I enjoy it a whole lot. Um, but from looking into the kinstones, it seems like there are a set amount of fixed kinstone fusions uh like that'll be the same for every single playthrough like oh this person will want this kind of kinstone it does this uh whatever oh they have like a little like their own little bar up here that's so cute i love them such cute little cuties um uh but th there's like set fusions that will always be like this fusion's always going to be this whatever uh, but then there's some that are assigned randomly so it's like certain characters could end up doing it or something it seems like hey. oh, it's not I thought I could sword blast that away, um, but I guess that's a that's gust. Uh, I almost said gust bellows, which is the, the the gust jar equivalent in Skyward Sword. This is a whole whole lot of Skyward Sword on the brain. Oh, hey, some Minish lives up here. I guess you know, maybe they were driven out by the the pestos and the moldozers, uh, and they're like, I'm just gonna go over to the the bar across the street and live there now. Oh, you don't got anything for me. I'll just leave you alone. You can do your own stuff. I love all the buttons that they have. What what do the Minish do with buttons? I guess wheels. Not entirely sure. If you, hello? Is anyone back there? No? Oh, well, I guess not. How odd. How odd indeed. You're gonna give me that fucking bomb bag, man. Yeah, this is, yeah I got I got the boomerang. You can't stop me anymore. He gad. I knew there was someone there. When did you find your way back here? This area is for employees only. That is to say, me and me alone. Bottle. Mine bottle. I'm sorry, my good lad, but that is not for sale. That bottle contains food for my dear little dog, Fifi. What? You just want the bottle? That's highly unusual. This is Well, fine. If you feed Fifi, I guess you can have the bottle. How does that sound? I'll do it. Excellent, excellent. He's at my home right now. Thank you so much. 
we got a bottle of dog food. Oh, I can see the dog food. I couldn't really see the dog food in the bottle before because I didn't remember that it was already there. Uh, and the brown of the dog food kind of <laughs> blended in with the brown of the crate it was on. Yeah, we got an errand. Uh, allow me to mark the location of my home here on your map. So the shopkeeper does not live in town. <laughs> they 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 know that they're they're running a horrible little capitalist hell, uh, and they they have to run away from town to escape it. And they don't even give away free samples of bread like the uh, Wheaton and Pita's Bakery do. So shame on you, shopkeep. And honestly, you sell the mysterious seashells, which we'll get angry about later. Uh, I believe there should be a doggy dish for my dog back at my house. Just face the dish, press R, you know, dump the food in the little Fifi's bowl. We know how to use an item, old man. We're blowing this popsicle stand. Thanks for the bottle. And I think the bottle even shows... Oh, no, it doesn't show up as one of our usable... Um, it shows up over here. Okay, so I guess we don't have to equip it. I assumed that it was going to be like, oh, you can equip it. And if you try to use it, it'd be like... You know, in other Legends of Zelda games, it'd be like, oh, you got the bottle. Nice. Hooray. Good for you. Um, but no, we, y y you know, we just have like flavor, flavor dialogue is what I was trying to say. Uh, if we drop down here, that won't give us the effect that we, or at least let's just try. I think if you fall, it's like, you know, locks go, ah, and we'll lose. Oh no, we can just drop down. Sweet. I didn't, I wasn't sure if that would work. Uh, that's good to know. Uh, and now that we're minish, I mean, we could immediately unminish ourselves and go around, but we have a peep. We have a peep over here who's got a ladder, so I'm going to climb up and talk to the peep. Because we can talk to animals, by the way. When you minish yourself, you can speak to animals. Eep! One of the minish peep! I'm not like my brothers. I won't chase you around and peck at you, peep peep! Not only that, I also have some good info for you somewhere in Hyrule. There's a great fairy who helps honest adventurers. If you see her, answer her every question truthfully, peep! Yeah, we know. We're <laughs> you want to cheap cheap use kinstones, peep? I, I love you, Kuko Chick. You're my best friend now. Have a kinstone. I'm so glad we talked to you, Peep Peep Kuku ch Chick Cheap Cheap. It's just a good. It was a good time talk. Oh, actually, this was a great time talking to you because uh, uh, we're now going to empty a fountain in the uh, castle garden, uh, which will be helpful and stuff. And I think we'll have full reign of the garden now that the king. Uh, perfect, Peep. Uh, now that we've emptied the, um, not empty, but now that the king has been like, or. The king has ordered uh, the soldiers to look for the light force. Uh, I don't think they're standing guard. Uh, oh, you do want to speak. Uh, rawr. I was worried you were about to attack me since you're doing your little butt wiggle. Can I stop you? Nope, you're just going to shove me along. Um, um, I, was, I was worried that the cat was going to attack us because of the butt wiggle. But but no, we can't fuse can, can stuff fuses. Uh, rawr, would you like to fuse with me? Rawr. You know, oh, the cat's name is Purry. That's a cute little name for a cute little kitty. Uh, so yeah, there's 100 Kinstone fu uh, pieces fusions in the game. I would very much like to 100% this game because I've never done it before. Uh, but based on the random elements of Kinstones and stuff, who knows if it'll happen? We're gonna do our best. They fit perfectly. Per, uh, we're, we're gonna we're gonna do our darndest. Hope for the best. Shoot for the stars, uh, and see what happens. Um, also, this broken bridge over here. Luckily for us, there's a Minish sized bridge we can get across, uh, which is convenient and nice. Oh, there's a little Minish just chilling out over here. What's up? Hey, you made it over, huh? I bet crossing that narrow bridge made you nervous, right? Uh huh? No, not really. I was just like, oh, well. Th this is normal, actually. This is good. G this is good and normal. This is both good and normal, and I'm not going to complain. Uh, I guess the carpenters chill here. Oh, hey, and there's um, there's a pot here. So uh, even if we don't have access to the other side of this area at the moment, we can always minish size ourselves and come over. Oh, the buttons can be plates. That's what you can use. That makes sense. And the big, the big knight piece, that's really good. Um... The boss might seem rough, but he's really a softy at heart. So this Minish works as a carpenter, whether these other carpenters uh, know it or not, you know? They're uh, they're a good uh, carpenter, and these humans are pitiful and don't know what the hell they're doing, so they'll help out. What's up with you, doggy? Oh, sorry. Am I in your way? I just wanted a little attention. Anyway, it was nice of you to say hi. Sorry for the trouble. I'll move now. There you go. The doggy is moved, so we don't even have to minish ourselves to get over. <laughs> rarf! Arf arf! You want to fuse kinstones? Rarf arf! Yes, I would like to fuse kinstones with you, Growler. And oh, Growler, have you earned your name? We know Growler's a little softy, cutie patootie, but they just like to growl at big people. But they like they like the small people, and they like the big people too. But they're just they're gonna grow. Oh, a golden rope. We haven't even seen a normal rope. Um, ropes are just snakes. Uh, God, I wish I could remember the crow name. Uh, Arf, a perfect fit. Arf, Arf. Sorry. Sorry, sorry for skipping your dialogue. 
um, buddy. Oh, and speaking of buddies, we got a buddy here. Um, not really much we can do with buddies uh, upstairs, unfortunately. Hey, do you know clues that reveal the location of the treasure? Cross the bridge that spans the rapid flow through the land of the fearsome beast until you reach the Misty Falls. The treasure sleeps on the other side of the secret entrance there. They say it's a magical tool that allows even little people to push big things. According to the legend, you're supposed to start from this house. I don't think we can do this just yet, but what was it? It was across the across the bridge, um, land of the fearsome beast, probably purry, until you reach the Misty Falls. Treasure sleeps on the other side. Yeah, I don't, I don't remember what this does exactly. Um, well, actually, thinking about it, I do know the item that we will get from it. Uh, but I don't, know. I, I don't know. This person, the glasses made them like look like a not like le normal legends. Oh, I was gonna say like these people wear sunglasses in like Zelda normally. I think there's some people who wear like sunglass stuff. Okay, so land of the fearsome beasts. We did the the bridge, uh, the misty falls though. I don't know source of water over here. Um, so we might, might, uh, not worry about that. Uh, and also there's a, there's a ghost here. I don't know if that ghost was there before and I just ignored it, but there's a ghost there, I guess. <laughs> ghosts are scary. That one's nice, but even nice ghosts are still scary, aren't they? I, I, I like ghosts, even this, especially the scary ones. Not being anyone's pet sure does have its perks. I don't have to wait around for anyone to feed me for one thing. Ah, we got a rebel dog, a rebel dog who doesn't want to do a uh, fusion either. Um. Oh, uh, maybe this is the... Well, it's not really a misty f fall. It's just water. Uh, I don't know. There's stuff we can do. We can walk around and do minish stuff uh, for ages. Uh, but, you know, we got we got stuff to do. We'll worry about being... We'll worry, be about being t <clears throat> we'll worry about being tiny when we want to be ti tiny, I, I guess. I don't know. It's not really a great sentence. But it's what I've, I was going to say. It's what I realized was going to be strange to say. And then I said it anyways. So whatever, we're gonna grow. And I'll leave. I'll leave y'all alone to your your sawn wood for whatever reason. You just get in the wood pre-sawed. You know what they say? Uh, what is all of this? I'm busy. Don't you see that? Do not disturb my research. If you have no business, be gone. You heard me. So nothing we can do uh, with our friend in there. Our friend in there, uh, Mister Left. Doctor Left. So the, the joke is he's Mister. Yeah, he's Doctor Left. Because he's based on Mr. Wright, who is also the character in, 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 in Link's Awakening. There's a character who looks like Mr. Wright, who's Dr. Left, and then Dr. Left is in this game. Oh, also in Oracle of Seasons? They might be in Ages. I, I don't remember. But here we have, um, <laughs> we have, we have a thing. Oh boy, do we have a thing. I collect those mysterious shelves you've seen scattered all over the place. If you bring those shelves to me, I'll have, I'll trade you these figures I've made. Ah, uh, is that a mysterious shell? Hmm, if I've got an offer, I'd like you to make you. What do you say at trading it for a chance at winning a figurine? Let's trade, baby. How many shells would you like to use in this drawing? The more shells you use, the more likely you are to get a figure you don't have. Well, we don't have any figures, so here's one. Yep. So this is the entire purpose of mysterious seashells is a gotcha machine. I think the thing on the left also does something. I don't remember what it does off the top of my head, though. Oh, I think the thing on the left might be the figure viewer. Oh, we got the Great Butterfly Fairy, <laughs> which we haven't seen yet. Great. Cool spoiler. Video game. Congratulations. I'll keep the figurine. Uh, in the case on the... Yeah, okay, so the left one, we can just go and we can view our figurines. I was like, what the hell does that thing do? Uh, so, yes. There's a lot of figures in this game. Uh, how many are in there? There's... 136, I think. I'm guessing that off the top of my head, there's 136. Uh... Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, so there's 136 figures in the game, with six only being available after you've completed the game. And collecting all of these is A, you know, like if you want to complete it, like it'd be like, oh, yes, you have to get all of the, the thing. I shouldn't have said it that way. You know, if you want to complete it, you know, like, da, 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 you know, you'd have to get all things. But on top of that, you get a heart piece for getting every single figure in the game. How many seashells do we have? Let's have to check. Let's see. Oh, we only have 96. There is a cap at 999 uh, secret seashell, mysterious seashells. Uh, so you should come back and um, apparently uh, it's a good good idea just to come and get those from time to time. You know, just grab a few figurines um, because like at certain points of the game, more figurines will unlock. Like, we couldn't go and get all 130 figures, even though the game so rudely spoiled the Great Butterfly Fairy for us. Um, 
but they unlock at certain points so it'd be smart to like come back like yeah you know after every dungeon or whatever uh gra grab a few uh but not grab so many because like i said like you'll unlock more with time so in my brain it makes sense like oh once i unlock them all i'll go and grab some but i guess if you unlock them a few at a time then well, i don't i don't know how the chances work out but it's it probably works i i, I don't know the secret seashells i've never managed to collect them all uh it's the like thing i've I, well, I've also never done all the kinstone fusions. Actually, I may have got done all the kinstone fusions because I know what the reward is and I know I've seen it before. So I may have done all the kinstone fusions, but I've absolutely never gotten all the figurines as hard as I try. But we're going to try for it. Darn it. Do you want to fuse kinstone? Sure, let's see how they fit. Uh, do we have one? No, we do not have a... No, I <laughs> wanted to hit B. Um, uh, we need to find a red jaggy one uh, that the stranger would like. Um, and that's that, uh, that kinstone fusion that right there. A very important one. Uh, there's like a certain point in the game where if you don't do it by, it's kind of pointless to do it by. Uh, I think it's... I, I don't know which dungeon. I know which item it gives. Um, but I'll, I'll try and warn y'all. What I'm saying is, try and find that guy's kid's throne as quickly as you can uh, for the greater good. It'd be nice. Um, that mustachioed guy strikes me as somewhat unreliable. There's something fishy about this room, too. Yeah, the scary masks. A mayor with mask. Oh, the mustache pull is very good. That's good animation. Ahem. That hole in the garden leads to a shelter of sorts, but it's not like I'm trying to run off and save myself alone or anything. Just keep that in mind. Yeah, the mayor has just got to stay close to the, um, the, the safety shelter. That's the way it works. Mayor Hagen. And we actually do have yours. Um, you can have this red one, I guess. What do you give? I think, I think Hagen gives something pretty good. If I recall correctly. Oh, okay. This one's going to... Spoilers. It's about to drain that little puddle. That little puddle. There's, like, there's this little secret thing there. There's a secret little hidden deeper part. Like, we could have walked on that. And it would have been fine and good for us. <laughs> oh, that's so pretty. A perfect fit. Now now we'll get lucky. Uh, yeah. M m maybe. Who, who's to say? Who's to know? I mean, I know I know what it gave. So, say, thinking about that. Um, oh, another Kinsome piece. Oh, what kind of piece was it? Was it a red jaggy piece, perhaps? It was not, perhaps. Um, actually, I don't, I don't think we can push this. This one looks. This one looks like we're going to need, to need uh, more manpower than we can currently uh, muster to push that block. But block too big. Who knows how we can push it? We're not going to think too deeply about it. Uh, but yeah, cool safety shelter where there's just a huge block in the way that no one will be able to move. And that's just the way it'll be. Oh hey. Look, some friends. Oh my god. So so there's a lot of fun stuff in Hyrule Town, but we have the oracles from other game. I don't think they're the oracles in this game. I think they're just normal ladies. I don't remember. We need to find a nice quiet place where we can settle down. It's so nice to be here at last. And such a big and such a big town it is. Staying in this inn forever would start to be a bother. So yes, we got we got Den Nehru and Furor, the oracles of seasons, ages. And secrets, I guess, if you wanna, if you wanna, if you wanna go that route. Um, bada bing, bada boom, you know. Uh, I don't know if they're supposed to be like, hey, we are just straight up the. Oh, a red kinstone piece. I guess you can find red kinstone pieces randomly. Either that, or there is just a red kinstone piece always. And that, damn, you keep giving me not the one I want. Hey, what do you know about the light force stuff? People are saying it's some kind of treasure that can grant you any wish. Uh, actually, uh, that's a hat. It's a hat that grants your wish dipshit um so let's you know let's fuse kinstone see how well they fit satchel that's an interesting name and i don't i don't got your rock my man yes i've had a change of heart i need to talk to these oh yay yay i wanted to talk to these children because children sometimes have some great dialogue but you know they're just playing and saying stuff uh is she the only one with the kinstone fusion no uh snot boy is the only one who doesn't lolly that's such a cute name and i don't have your stone why don't y'all have the stones i have i do want to fuse kinstones oh and you have a blue one Oh, can't lolly can't oh that's that's very cute uh, name and combination guessing they're siblings don't know about snot boy don't know if snot boy has a name oh this is an interesting kinstone fusion so there's a thing there that we can't interact with at the m moment and you never would be able to if you didn't make that uh that piece of land show up underneath it uh so that'll be helpful later uh and we there's some lanterns here but um, or torches. That's what, uh, lanterns are the one you carry. Torches are the ones that live on the ground. Um, nothing we can do about that. What about you? Yes, I would like to fuse Kinstone, see how well they fit. I don't have your thing. Bindle, why are you... <sighs> All these people. 
they, got, they just got the wrong damn stones. Nothing we can do about that. Um, and I'm glad I kept looking through here because I would have forgotten about um, uh, Percy's kinstone that we were looking for. Which is interesting because we're going to find Percy's kinstone and then Percy will probably be like, want it? Want to use kinstones? And it's like, oh, what? I found, found their kinstone. Actually, we can't find their, their kinstone isn't like just laying around. Uh, maybe if we talk to like the hotel people. Uh, the happy hearth. Need a rest kid? Uh, we can take care of that. Even throw in a present to boot. Um, oh, oh, well, we don't have any money, so forget it. <laughs> oh, that animation of slapping the desk. Uh, was pretty good. Um, hey, do you, do you work here? Do you have a kinstone? Um, I guess not. Okay. So the way that this works is I believe if you stay in the end, you get a kinstone piece, kind of like, uh, oh, we can't actually go out on the balcony. Uh, that leads out to the balcony. I guess if we were able to open that door somehow, we'd get out there, open that chest, which might have Percy's thing that we want. Um, I don't know. I, I, Percy's thing we either get from that balcony or we would like randomly stay in a room and be like, oh, you got Percy's kinstone. Buggity buggity boo. Did I scare you? Yeah. Terribly frightened. Um, oh, look at this cute little kitty. Meow, meow. What about you? Writing a letter right now? I don't have any time to play with you. Sorry. That's fine. But what about what about your kids? See, Julieta, thank you so much for having the kind of stone that I have. I I appreciate that in a kinstone fusion partner. When we got the same color and the same thing so we can slap them together, call it a day. F make a fusion. I was going to lose my mind if it was another golden, um, another golden enemy. That worked perfectly. I'm going to push your... I'm going to push your bookshelf. I am not going to push your bookshelf on later recollection. Your bookshelf. Too much of a thing. I cannot push it. It is too much for me. Bye bye. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of stuff to look around in town. I honestly don't know. Like, um, my dog's real smart and a little spoiled too. That's the way all the smart ones are. Um, I don't really know. Like, I have a little list of all the things I wanted to get in this episode because you know we're doing we're doing some side questing. You know, getting some stuff set up before we uh, venture out to go find uh, the next dunge. Um, but I oof, oof. I don't don't really know where everything is because, like I said, like. This it's been a, it's been a like eight years since I played this game. Don't entirely know where everything is, uh, and I'm I'm just doing my best. Okay, yeah, we can climb up the. Okay, well, nice. We can climb up the chimney, but it doesn't really help us. Um, it's the because of the fire. So if we were able to put out the uh, oh, oops, I just hit my mic because I wanted to scratch my arm because it itched. Um, if we were able to put out the other uh, chimney, we would be able to go over to the other house. Which even if we were able to get over to the other house. Uh, wouldn't be terribly useful for us since we would we would get over there and like we saw um, uh, the the uh, bookshelves need to be pressed into a different position. Do oh, excuse me, good stuff. Right, there, you want to fuse? Can I jump down the well? I do not seem to be able to jump down the well. Nobody wants to shove me down there either and land on my back. I don't, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Okay, well we've looked around town. Um, let's I guess go do the thing. That we're, sorry, postman. Let's go do the thing we're supposed to do with the shoes, uh, and then we can worry about what else we can do as we go, I guess. I guess that's the way we can do this. Um, oh, so something I also looked into, I, I just thought about because I had to use my dangerous implement weapon thing. Actually, I'm going to go visit... Uh, uh, oh. Oh. He. I guess we're visiting he now instead. That a green cap and green clothes, are you perhaps a fairy? Woo-ha! I knew it, I knew it! Tingle wants to be a fairy too. Actually, Tingle has some kinstones, you know. And I'm giving kinstones to my brothers too. If you can use kinstones with me and each of my brothers, well, I don't want to give it away, but you'll get something very, very, very good! Good luck, Mr. Fairy. So yeah, Tingle! Tingle in this game! We got, we got, we got this one again. We, we got everybody favorite, uh, Tingle. And... Tingle's brothers. Oh, Tingle's so happy. Tingle. Tingle is very happy, but fortunately, Tingle. I don't, I don't, I don't got the cut of your jib, unfortunately. Sorry, Tingle. Oh, you want to quit? You're making Tingle. Oh, so very sad. Sorry, Tingle. Sorry. But yeah, Ting, Tingle, Tingle, and Ting, Tingle and Tingle's brothers. They're here, and they're ready to do some kinstone fusion. I saw that that um that grass in the middle of the the little trees, and I was like, oh, I bet there's a thing in there. There wasn't. So this is your house. Well, it seems like a nice place. So where's my room? Well, I guess you're going to live in my room with me. Actually, I think Grandpa lives up. Yeah, there's two beds, so... 
You're gonna sleep in my bed, I guess. So this is your room. That makes it my room too, right? Absolutely, my friend. And uh, now we're just going to spend the rest of this game role-playing as uh, Lonk and Ezlo just having a fun, nice, quiet domestic life. And that's just, that's that's it. That's gonna be the game, goodbye. Uh, but yes, uh, Grand Master Smith, our Grand Papa, has a kid substitution for us. And luckily, one that we even had the thing for, uh, which is very good. I still can't believe we found the red one in the thing. Like I like I said at the beginning, I was like, ah, I'm not sure how how this works. Like, um, like some of them were like, oh, you can only find reds in chests. Turns out you can find reds just laying around. And or that was like, a, oh, this one will always have a red in it. Oh, we can't smash those. Darn. Be nice if our sword was a little bit stronger and able to smash things. A wink. So in a previous Legend of Zelda games, uh, being able to smash... Uh, like rocks, pots, stuff like that was tied to the strength of your sword. So, you know, you get like a level two sword at some point and you'd be able to break things you couldn't previously break. And oh, all these acro bandits coming out to die to maybe give me like two rupees. Nice, nice, nice. Appreciate the two rupees. Oh, I always appreciate a two rupee because that two rupees. Empty bottle. Wow, nice. Uh, we have, if you use a kinstone, feed a dog. We're going to have so many empty bottles. It was actually something I had on my list where I was like, well, we can get an empty bottle, but it's tied to a kinstone fusion. And I didn't think to write down which one it was, which was, you know, fine. It'll be, it'll be fun. Everything's going to work out in the end. You know, it's ch chill. It's, it's going to be fine. Nobody's panicking. What are you saying? 200 rupees. That was a very nice find. In fact, if we find the golden Octorok back here, we probably wouldn't want to kill them. Because I believe when you kill a, a golden enemy, they drop like a lot of money or something. Uh, and we don't want a lot of money if we're going to... Oh, I saw the choo-choo forming and got, got confused. Uh, nothing over here because that was blocked off by water. Nothing in the downwards direction because that's just the Minish Village. Which I suppose we could go to and check out some Kinstone fusions. Uh, but you know, we're not, we're not sweating. This isn't the right way to go. We do need to come this here direction, somewhere in this area... Uh, to get to Syrup's place. Um, oh, there's some farmers. We should probably talk to the people around here. Because uh, there's people around here that we can talk to. And we love to talk to people. Well, no one in here. The farmers are working the farm right now. They're not, <clears throat> they're not in their house. I'm just going to let you just smack me in the face and just end my life immediately. I love working in the garden. It makes me feel so close to nature. And sometimes, just sometimes, I dig up a kinstone from the ground. Well, I'm just going to stand right behind you all day and wait for some kinstone. What's up there, bud? You saying you want to match kinstone pieces? Uh, yes, Eenie. Oh, yes, this is Eenie and Meenie. Yes, great names for characters. I love... There's nothing better than characters with, like, a naming theme of, like, match matching stuff. There's a Goron. Great Gorons. Gorons are great. Love Gorons. I feel so much stronger now. Here we go. Yep, you're punching faster, which means you're stronger. And just the little Goron rocks around the Goron, just that look like very tranquil, like, just peaceful Gorons. Love them. Phew, it's about time. Looking good, though. Look, it's about time. Looking good, though. I'm going in. Okay. Goodbye, Goron. I love Gorons. Gorons, I, I've, I've had this, like, back and forth in, like, maybe two Let's Plays at this point where I'm like, do I like the Deku or the Gorons more? Because I love a good little tree, tree boy, but... Gorons are just mm, great creatures. Rock, rock, rock and roll. All right, you had a little bit less to say than uh, Eenie, but uh, <laughs> yeah, rock and roll. But we'll uh, we'll go ahead and just fuse with you anyway, Meanie. Especially since you have the kind of kinstones that I have. Thank you so much for having the, the kind of rock that I have. <clears throat> this is gonna be well. I was gonna say, oh yeah, yeah. I was like, where is, is this gonna be a treasure chest? Where is it gonna go? But yes, if it's if it's there, there'll be room to open it. Fits like a chip off the old rock. Oh. Rock and roll. Can I open your gate? I would appreciate it if you opened your gate. Guess you're not going to open your gate. That's fine, though. I didn't need your gate to be opened, babaka. Oh, over here we have where the, the Goron was chilling. Uh, it seems like we need to take advantage of the Cyclones to be able to get up there. Which we don't seem to be... Oh, I saw the blue of the bomb uh, out of my peripheral vision and was like, Oh, hell yes, blue Kinstone. Uh, but no, it was just some bombs, uh, which I guess we'll have to make do with. Uh, but now that we have the Kanapaki, we can come over to this area, which we weren't able to get into uh, before. Actually, is this? Yeah, there's no way up there. I thought this would like loop back around over to um, to uh, that area that we were just in, but it didn't. And uh, I, there's no reason to be quiet or mysterious about it because we already had it spoiled by Karlov. That. St 
stupid figurine shell loving little so-and-so about the great butterfly fairy welcome to the adventurer spring i have need of many rupees please throw all of yours into the spring yeah all right i only have like oh i know i have 209 actually i thought i only had like two or whatever forgot about that 200 rupee we picked up you know that if you do this you'll have absolutely no rupees left right left right middle um yeah we'll, we'll throw them in i guess you're you're a great fairy. You are you are most kind. I do not really need your rupees, but I must reward such a kind adventure with some of my power. And the power being a big ol' wallet. Now we can carry even more. May light shine on your quest. Thank you, great spoiled butterfly fairy. Um, I did all the work looking up what names of fairies were. And harumph hadumph. The g oh, we can't actually see our wallet. I think I think I've come in here and done the song and dance before. Of oh, well, I need to check my wallet. Cannot check our wallet max. I'm gonna guess our max is probably 500 now because we had 300 before. Oh, which means we still couldn't buy a big bomb bag, uh, if that is in fact true. Uh, but it is not. Oh, that's what it was. We don't use the cane of pocky to get by. We need to help out our friends. The stupid Mar. No, this isn't the stupid Mario. This is the wonderful uh. Ma Talon. I was like, I was like, I was gonna say M Marin. I was gonna be like Malon, but it's like, no, it's not Malon because Malon, Malon is she. But this is Talon. Uh, I lost my key and I can't get inside. And the spare keys and inside the house. A wahoo. <laughs> she just, <laughs> what a pain. You know the song, <laughs> what a pain. Malon's famous song. <laughs> and I was thinking of going into town to sell Lon Lon milk. Yeah, so they need to get inside, but they locked the key inside. Which, I'm not even gonna like, <laughs> what dummies, because we've all, we've, we've all done something like that before. I still fear, every single time I go out, like, what if I didn't lock my door? Actually, I don't mind not locking my door, because, you know, it's, it's fine, it's whatever, it'll work out. Um, I, I normally do lock my door. It's a nice try, robbers. Um, we got the Long Long Ranch key, we can open the ranch door. But this text is actually, in fact, a lie. We cannot open the door. No matter what we do, can't, can't open it. We gotta go give it to Talon. Talon can use it to open the door. Um, and we've all, we've all locked ourselves out of something at some point. Um, have I locked myself out of my car? I've locked myself. I probably locked myself. Yes, I have locked myself out of the car. It just worked out well because I had just had a spare key made because I had just lost the other keys and then I found them again. So it worked out. Well, but we've, we've, we've all locked ourselves out of stuff from time to time. Oh, our one and only spare. Well, having only one spare key, that, that makes sense. Uh, you know, I don't know how you got this, but I can't thank you enough. Tell me your name, Sonny. Lock the second. That's a great name. See, Talon agrees. If you ever need to go to Lake Hylia, feel free to cut through our house. Thank you very much. Lock the second, her other famous song. Uh, come and visit us again. It must feel weird having, like, a home where it's, like, he needed to thank us, and immediately his thought process was, boom, you walk through a house, you can get straight to the lake. Like, that's just a thing you have to, like, offer people. Like, you know that your home is a useful shortcut. Hell yeah. Love a good old cow moo. In fact, hit me again. Hell yeah. In fact, hell yeah, we can come down here and see what this big old chest has. Oh, a, a big wall, an even bigger wallet. Well, I guess we can hold more now. Uh, we can probably... Well, we can't afford, but if we were able to... Um, you know... Uh, we, we can have... We probably have enough... How tranquil and those cows look so delicious. I never considered what Ezlo eats, and I don't like the concept of Ezlo putting meat flesh in his mouth and chewing on it. Do not enjoy it. Um, also, especially for those cute little cows, 50 rupees, which we don't really have to worry. Well, eventually we'll hit the cap of our, our wallet, but uh, yeah. Oh, hey, a friend. Oh, Mr. Fairy, hello. My brother Tingle was always telling us about you. He says he owes a lot to you fairies, and I know he'd want uh, me to thank you. Uh, in fact, yeah, in some pieces, yeah, I do want to try it. Give me your best shot. And I Ankle, I'm sorry. Don't got the one I got. Unless. Oh, a little spider. That was neat. A little spider came out of the thing instead of, uh, you know, sometimes enemies pop out of grass and it was just a cute little spider. Cute and neat. Um, but no, I was hoping we would slash the grass and then it'd be like, hooray, we found the thing we needed. But no, we didn't find the thing we needed. Even by slashing the grass. Who would have got, oh, well, uh, that's one, one rupee. We, 
pish posh and one rupee. I almost hiked up when I did that. Um, we don't gotta worry about one rupee anymore. Oh, is this Veil Falls? We don't need to go over here yet. I was, I was just, you know, poking around, seeing what was up. Uh, and we're making a little shortcut so we can get around a little bit easier. So now, uh, Talon doesn't have to offer his home as a shortcut. He could have just come over here and pushed the boulder and it would have been perfectly fine. Um, but that's not the way that the cookie crumbled. Uh, not... Oh, this didn't do what I thought would happen at all. Oh, a Kinso piece. Would you happen to be a red jaggedy piece? You would not happen to be... Well, you're jaggedy. You're, you're jaggy. You have a single jag. Not... You don't got the itty that I'm looking for, you know? Because uh, I would like to to help uh, help the stranger out since we do have a time limit on it. It's not like, it's not a close time limit. I think it's like two dungeons away, um, you know? So it's not like a big immediate pressing matter. Like, oh, th thank you. I guess I can check what kind of piece it is. Uh, I, oh, it's just the one that we already had, nice. And we found another spider. I guess because I'm cutting more grass now because I want, I want those kinstone pieces. Boy, I do sure have 200 rupees I could turn into Picolite, I guess. What the hell am I? Oh, I see. Okay. I was like, where am I going with this? I didn't see another cliff, but the idea is there was a body of water there that we couldn't cross, so we instead flew through the air to get across here um, because, God forbid, we'd be able to swim uh, without... Spoilers, it's the Legend of Zelda game. You, you find flippers, and you're able to swim with them. Lake Hylia. Uh, we can come over here, back to Lon Lon Ranch, and we're able to push this boulder over, and I think this is the area to the right of the Goron. Uh, if I am paying attention spatially, which I may not. Yeah, there we go. That's Goron City over... The, it, it's not Goron City. I shouldn't have said that. Goron City is a location, a town where Goron, Goron live. I don't think there is one in this game. I think Goron just kind of hang on, hang on, hang out around uh, this cave. So this is, I guess, Goron Village. Look, there's the indentations. There's a little Goron sign spot right there. So this is Goron Town, baby. Or... This is one solid wall. I'm going to need a few friends to give me a hand. Well, would your friends want the... <laughs> no, I don't want to quit. I didn't want to quit at all. I just hit the wrong button. I hit start instead of A. So there we go. Thank you, Goron, who doesn't have a name. You're just Goron. You can name yourself if you want, Goron. No one can stop you. What's happening? Oh. A stranger. It's been a long time since the last time I visited Hyrule. I think I'll set up a little place where I can sell my kinstones. So yeah, we are able to buy kinstones from that mysterious stranger now. Uh, I believe kinstones are pretty expensive though, but you know, if you're in need, there's some weed. The Goron's gonna just smoke you out and give you a kinstone. It's Goron culture, you know. You, you, you smoke with a Goron, you get uh, you get Kinstone. Uh, so golden enemies, they're tougher. They got a lot of health, but it's fine. It's still it's still a little Octorok, rock, you know. Nothing it can do. Oh, it dropped a big ol' rupee. Uh, and yeah, oh, it was a hundred rupees. Okay, so that that would have like filled up our uh, our thing like full previously. But now we have a big big old wallet. Just an absolutely massive. I didn't count. <laughs> I was gonna count how many heart pieces we had at the beginning of this. Uh, it's fine, whatever. I'll just check it against my notes, which ones we got. Not a big deal. I was just gonna do it with math instead of with brain. What is this? Syrup the Witch's Hut. Oh, yeah, so we, we found our objective. We can come in here. We can hear Syrup the Witch's song. Uh, blue potion. Let's talk to Syrup before we start buying stuff. Ah, welcome. Care for some of Granny's homemade blue potion. One sip and you're full of energy. Please look around. <clears throat> So this game doesn't have a magic meter. Uh, so I believe that there's no like red or, well, obviously no green potion if there's no magic meter. So I think they just cut the shuff, chuff, chuff. I think that's what, not shuff, shuff. It's not like an S. Uh, like, it's just the blue one. And I think it heals you to full, but that's not what we're here for. We're here for mushroom. Ah, uh, yes, a fine choice, my dear. That's a limited time article. One whiff and you're wide awake. That's why we call it a wake up mushroom. Would you like to buy it for 60 rupees? Bish bosh! You're looking at the 1% lock over here. The stench chases a sleep away. <laughs> Just face the sleepy snoozer and press R. That'll pop his eyes right open. Pop. I don't... It sounded... I'm not... Okay, yeah, you, you don't get like a red potion or anything. It's, it's, it's just the one flavor. You got blue. And really blue. Blue is the... Well, it depends. Sometimes red is a better flavor than blue. Uh, but in this case... You know, well, I, well, I was going to say in this case... 
Um, I have no idea what the flavors are where I but if red's a fruit punch, you know, some fruit punch flavors, it's like you could go either way. Sometimes it's like, oh, this is this is a good fruit punch. Other times it's like, oh, mm. uh, but, you know, blue, blue isn't always got it all together either, you know. And was there another thing we could have done, done, done over uh, in Lake Hylia? I guess I could check the map instead of running through um, these poor folks home. I mean, they share home with cow. We're probably less smelly than cow. Sorry, cow. Cows, pretty damn smelly uh, animals. Love them. Pretty damn smelly, though. Um, oh, there's a rock. And unfortunately, we, can, we can't get past a rock. This rock, even if we were to blast up, we can't blast up over it. Rock, too powerful. Uh, you see, it's shaped like Goron. It's like a rolled up little Goron. And it, it, Gorons are just too powerful. Oh, there's another Tingle over there. Uh, and also a home. I really like the way this home looks. It's nice. I enjoy looking at it. Hello, Tingle's other brother. Are you Mr. Fairy? Oh, yeah. Look at the, this clothes. You gotta be him. I received some, some pieces from Tingle. He said that I should try and fuse them with you, Mr. Fairy. So what do you think? Do you think we should try to fuse? Let, let's fuse. Fusion, huh? You know? Sorry, David Jr., but... That's just not the piece I have. All you Tingle boys uh, just don't got the Tingles that I can provide. I'm sorry. And Dave, David Jr. We didn't see the last one. We saw We saw Tingle, Ankle... Uh, and then we might David Jr. And that's just one of my favorite jokes because Tinkle gets brothers in Wind Waker. Brothers, quotations. Uh, and then it's like, they all have rhyming like cool, cool names. Um, but then you get to David Jr. And that's just, it's just funny. Um, also, I think it's implied that he kidnapped David Jr. Like there's some like inf indication in there like that. My master Stockwell has been coming home far too late to play with me. I'm so lonely. Well, hopefully you got the rock. I no, you, Fifi. I'm so sorry. Not even I can play with you. I am quitting. I'm so sorry. I'm a quitter. I'm no good, darned quitter. But I am able to feed you, which is better than playing to dogs sometimes. M most of the time. Rough, rough. Well, there's your food. I'm just gonna check your water. Make sure it's fresh. Thank you, Fifi. Goodbye, Fifi. Yeah, so there we go. We got three out of the four bottles in the game. So we're in Bottle City. But we're, this isn't Bottle City. There's no such thing as Bottle City. I'm sorry. Um, I'm in but What am I thinking? Well, we got the mushroom. So we can go back to town and we can get our cute little shoes. Um, we can't help any of the Tingle Boys because uh, they are they just got the wrong, the wrong flavor of rocks. We need them to have different flavors of rocks uh, to be able to help them. There's just nothing we can do about that. I don't know. Oh, I was going to... Whatever. Acker Bandits, I'm going to leave you alone because you guys rule. Acker Bandits... I would love to see Acker Bandits in a 3D Zelda game just, like, popping out of the ground. It would probably be a little... Just a little intimidating to see that happen. Um, even though they're such cute little guys, you know? Uh, we can come over here. Oh, we can talk to the, the Goron merchant who will sell us stuff. Bring whatever piece you like. Uh, the shape you like is simply a matter of personal taste, Goro. Let's just, let's just see what, what your price ranges are. Uh, each kinstone's different. Okay, so you can get a red or, or a green for 50. No deal, Goro. Too bad. Goron saying Goro, not really a common thing. Um, 300. Okay, so yeah, the red one's... Red one's a little bit rare. I don't think there's a way to sell kinstone. I don't know if I was to, like, buy that kinstone piece. If it'd be like, well, you've purchased it. Now it's, you know, gone. And, like, you know, like, that kinstone piece is, like, a set one or whatever. Uh, you know. <laughs> who, who knows? Kinstones. They're, they're magic. Uh, if I recall correctly, if I recall correctly, and I guarantee you that I do, my boy, I think that Serp said to stand in front of a sleeping person, press R. I know all about how to wake sleeping people. If you stand in front of them, you press R. Pull a mushroom out. You get the da 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 da. <clears throat> wow. What is that terrifyingly bad smell? A wake up mushroom, I should have guessed. So you woke me up? Thanks. I just remembered I have something urgent to do. Does it give me shoes? Hmm? Huh? What now? There, there are new. There are more new shoes. You probably won't believe this, but I have a strange habit of making shoes in my sleep. So you must come here because you want some of my shoes, right? Tell you what, because you are nice enough to wake me up, you can have them. Hold on a sec, although I just want to finish this finish this one last bit. Finishing touches, you know. Just hammer the, the bottom, shine it a bit. Special, special Pegasus shoes. You know, you gotta, you gotta shine the bottom of the Pegasus shoes so you slip. You know, it's like the slippery, this hover, the hover boots, the the butter shoes from from the, the Ocarina of Time. 
They're so light, you'll feel like you're practically walking on air. You got the Pegasus boots. Hold the button to run faster than the wind. So there we go. Ooh, I need to hurry up and get working on that special order. The king asked me to make some shoes from Princess Zelda, you see. Uh, and then he canceled it and ordered me to create the light force. I don't know what kind of shoe that is. I'm very confused. Is it just the Pegasus shoes because they're light? Um, the Pegasus sh Oh, are the Pegasus shoes an item? Oh, interesting. I did not remember the Pegasus shoes being an item. I thought it was going to be um, hold L. I don't know what L does in this game. So I was like, hey, bada boom, bada boom. We'll just we'll hold L and we can use the Pegasus shoes. But nope, it's a full on item we have to equip. There we go. We got the Pegasus shoes. So now we'll be able to uh, cross the Castor Wilds without sinking into the swamp. Mm, a new sword, fantastic. And you seem to have acquired new skills with it. Yes, I'm ready to train you again, young swordsman. So it turns out Swiftblade actually has a couple moves uh, to teach us in the video game, and I would love to accept a new training. I will now teach you a technique called the Rock Breaker, so please pay attention. First, you swing your sword to break pots. Actually, <laughs> that's all there is, young swordsman. Do you understand? Yeah, I, I got it. Gonna possession? No? If you if you had said you didn't understand, I would have had serious doubts about you. But yes, but one must feel the technique, not just hear about it. That's why I now must possess your body. As to demonstrate the technique, I have a girl possession. So, hey, you swing your sword, you, you break a pot. I'm still going to possess your body, though. You know, Swiftblade Swift Blade has to feel like they're doing something other than, hey, your sword's better now. It's probably better enough that you can break things. But yes, rather than being tied straight up and down to, hey, your your sword, when you get a better one, can break things, you have to come back to Swiftblade first uh, to be able to get that uh, technique. Ah, yes, you have the Pegasus boots, and you seem to have more skill, too. <laughs> yeah, I, I broke, like, six pots. I'm ready to train you again, so would you like to train here? Please. You will now learn a, a new technique, the dash attack. First, equip the Pegasus boots. Second, equip your sword. Third, run like crazy. That's all, young swordsman. Uh, yep, pose Ashon. You have to experience this uh, technique and try it. You must hear about it. You can't hear about it. You got to feel it. You pose Ashon. Possession technique, go. Yep, so there we go. We get a running attack, which is interesting. That you, uh, you know, like in, in a... a um, Little Link's Awakening, let's say, if you were to have both these items, it would just be like, oh, you found like a button combination, but in this one, you gotta like ready it. Or, wait, how did it work? I have my sword equipped. Oh, do I have to charge it first? No. Uh oh, I wasn't. Well, luckily. Oh, because I I didn't learn the technique. I just ran out on training, and I was like, why can't I? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Master. I'm sorry, Master. I'm so sorry, Master. I. Yes, I have the Pegasus boots. Yes, we have to try it for ourselves. I missed the crucial step of actually doing the thing and getting the scroll and learning the technique. I got the possession. And I was like, bada bing, bada boom. Yeah, you're crazy. Who cares? You just stick your sword out. And it happens automatically. You don't have to push any buttons or anything. Which, like, something like this just happened automatically. Like, in Link's Awakening, you were just able to do something like that. But in this one, you know, it's a technique that we got to learn. And also, we know that the other side of this building is locked. But this one isn't. We can come in here we can see heart piece and a phonograph and a bunch of chests but we don't know how to open this building so what are you gonna what are you gonna do i, I don't know no, no. oh hey malon what's up oh you want to do a fusion i would love to fuse kins you malon this is my malon's best girl she even she's got the thing that we can stick we have matching stone oh my god i'm that was disappointing even for Okay, well, whatever. There's a there's a chest. Thank you, Melon. I appreciate it. And I, let's, let's see how much um, milk costs. Creamy nutritious, 100 per bottle. I'm good. Yeah, we got. Sorry, Melon. We'll we'll drink some milk later because we love milk. Everybody loves to just chug a bunch of lactose and just hope that your tummy can still do it. My my tummy can still do it. I got I got that that tummy that knows what lactose is, which is a good. Good for me until it goes away because it just, it's, it's weird. It seems like just eventually like your body's just like, no, no lactose. Don't know what this is anymore. Actually get, get this the hell away from me. Um, and you never know when it's going to strike, which is a fun part of just being a living human being. We love when our bodies just, oh, are the castle guards not out of the way? I thought they would have, uh, you know, <clears throat> fucked off a little bit, but, uh, it seems they have not, uh, in the slightest up. Oh, no, there we go. Someone's fucked off, but not not the one I wanted because uh, 
the, the thing we needed was on the other side. I guess the the golden ropes over here. So we can we can bull. Oh, I was gonna say bully a snake, but the snake snake is doing a little bit of bullying to me actually. The snake is so fast. Where'd he go? The, the damn thing unspawned itself. It unspawned itself. What the hell? Why can it do that? Oh well. Found a secret little hidey hole in the castle garden, which is probably normal. Hey, dude, what you're doing here is normal. You have found the true master swordsman of Hyrule Grimblade. If you train with me, I'll teach you skills you've never imagined. But this room is dark and I cannot see your face. Can I train? Hey, I can take you outside. You don't have to. Oh, okay. Well, I'll take your heart piece, I guess. I wasn't I wasn't planning to come here. Um, but buddy, you could just come over here. It's light. In the, okay. Well, if we f there's the little fucker. I can't believe it unspawned itself. It was going like nuts and then it ran away. I guess I'll just tank the damage. Um, and hope it doesn't drop its goodie. Oh, no, there we go. I was worried it was going to drop its goodie, like, on the, the thing. Um, the thing being the, uh, the ladder in, like, the right place that it, like, falls down the hole. And then it's like, well, that's gone. Um, and yes, that's what I was forgetting. The, um, <clears throat> uh, those, those trees that we've been seeing, you run into them with the Pegasus boots. I was like, I think we should be able to do something with those trees at this point in the game. But no, we get the Pegasus boot, you run into the trees... All the leaves fall off. You hit the trees, the leaves go bye-bye. And then you're able to use them for uh, Minish Portal purposes, our favorite thing. Uh, and I, I know this episode's been going on a little long. Um, we're just, you know, we're checking things out. We're learning. We got we got some new, uh, I almost said new duds. But duds, we, we got new shoes, uh, which would be a, a part of the dud, but not, not the full-on uh, pair of duds, you know. We don't got, like, a, a sick blue and or red uh, cloak tunic. That's what they're called in this game. Uh, for our friend Monk. Uh, and, wow, is there nothing over here? Is this just like to... Oh, that's mean. Like, you can come over here and um, do all this all this little little, uh, little hamster's big adventure stuff. But there's nothing over here. Damn. Why is this over here, then? Was there, like, a little sneaky secret? Um, <clears throat> Minish portal, perhaps? I don't know. Not exactly sure. But we, we looked around and I didn't see one. So, hmm? I don't know. I guess we just gotta wait for more guards uh, to get out of our way. And I guess this was a waste of our time. I'm sorry. Oh, hi. Didn't see you there. So I was editing, and I noticed there was a thing that we could uh, we could actually do being Minish over here. And it wasn't all that important, I guess, either. Whoops. Uh, but I think we've done most of everything I wanted to do in this episode. Uh, we'll, we'll make our way to the Castor Wilds. Oh, hey, there's a little thing over here. We, we'll do that. So we're gonna keep poking around. Um, there's some some fusions we could do. Like we could run like back to like um, uh, Minish Minish Woods uh, and see if like anyone wants to do any fusions. We can. Oh, hey, you have a bunch of Kinstone pieces. I may want this red one on the left. Maybe this red one on the. I think the red one on the bottom right. Can I have that? A visitor, how rare. I don't have much to offer, but you're welcome to stay. What do you what do you mean? Give me. Give give me. You do have so you have so much to offer me. Please. My kinstones. My family's dying. Um, alright. Well that was also a waste of time. It wasn't a waste of time. We met a we we met a Minish who collects kinstones, and they're living their best life, and we cannot be upset at them about that. Hey, bro, just move out of the way. I ordered the king. None shall pass. Be gone with you. Um, damn. Like, yeah, was there just not a... Not a Minish Portal over here, huh? There's gotta be something I missed over there. Because it just... It seems ridiculous. You know, whatever. If, if I missed a thing, we can come back. Um, you know, we're just poking around, hoping for the best. Uh, we're not gonna go to... We, oh, wait. There's some stuff in Mount Crenel, actually. I, I take it back. We will go to Mount Crenel. Uh, I wasn't going to, because I'm like, ah, oh, there's some fusions we could do up there. Or whatever. Oh. I wanted to see if... Sometimes, like, whenever you can drop off, um, like in, like, uh, the Oracle games or a Link's Awakening, Link will do a little jump and go, like, bloop, and you, like, jump, and it's cute. Uh, but not there. We just plummeted straight in the water. You want to fuse? Yeah, why not? Well, I'll tell you why not, Klaus. Because everyone in this world has the cut that I don't have. Why are you people like this? I don't even think we can, like, trade kinstones for, like, other kinstones or anything. Uh, we can come into the post office and we can see Marcy, the new hire. She helping with your job? Stamp, stamp, even if we hire more people. Welcome. 
I'm selling issues of Helpful Adventurer's Guide. It's called the Swordsman Loot Newsletter. It's full of useful advice. Right now, you can buy the latest issue for only 200 rupees. It's a bargain. Would you like to buy it? I, you know what? I'm good. So uh, there's the Swordsman Newsletter, which anytime you get an additional um, Swordsman Scroll, you unlock a new newsletter, which is cool and neat. Um, it's 200 rupees a pop, which seems... They probably should have made it a, a little, just a just a mite cheaper. I, I would say uh, probably would have been nice. Um, that, that would have been good and appreciated if it was just a little bit cheaper. And uh, it's it's a lot of money. Uh, luckily for us though, I don't think it unlocks anything to buy them all. So I can just read them. Like I can go to the wiki and just like a Zelda wiki. It's not called the Zelda wiki. It's uh, there's like two different Zelda wikis, and I can never remember which one I like more. I think the one I like more is blue. And I always, it's like Zelda, I, I'm not going to say I was going to say it, but then I was like, I shouldn't say it, just in case I say it and then I'm incorrect, which I probably would be. Um, now, what did we need over here? Because we got something that we didn't have before. I remember what it is now. There was a spot, uh, is this the fairy hole? I don't think it's the fairy hole. No, this is the Deku scrub home. There was a spot where we saw a, a thing, a place where we could use the white sword to make duplicates. Uh, here we go. This is the good stuff. Um, and also, up until this point, when we hit these, we just kind of have to, you know, step on the right spot and it's fine. Uh, but normally there are little puzzles here where it's like, if you don't, like, line yourself up right, you won't be able to <laughs> hit all the buttons. And I did it wrong and still managed to do it because I'm a super smart brain genius um, <laughs> who just got a fiddle by. Where, you know, you see these and you have to make the right pattern as opposed to just like, well, now there's more of you so you can hit all the buttons since you control all of them at once. You know, you got to... You gotta, you gotta think and use your noodle, or if you're like me, use your heart and make it work anyways. 50 rupees. Oh, oh, uh, hey, hey, master, sorry, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna rob you blind first. So yes, other than Swift Blade, there are other masters like Grimblade that we saw uh, in the garden of Hyrule Castle, which is normal and good, like I said earlier. Believe not what other tells you, I am the tr true master swordsman of Hyrule. My name is Greyblade, and if you train with me, you will learn much. So, would you like to train here? Yes, I would like to train here. You will learn the amazing Roll attack first. Roll with eh, and eh. second. As soon as you get up, third. Scream hi ya and swing your sword. That's all, young swordsman. I understand, but we can't just hear about it. We must feel the technique. That's why you must possess our body to demonstrate the technique, the Greyblade possession technique of training. Watch this, erg possession. So we now have a roll attack. Um, I'm a big fan of rolling in this game, so you know. Oh, I did it wrong. You know, it's not as easy to pull off um, as you would hope. Like, you know, just like roll and hit R, uh, hit R and hit attack. But you, oh no, it is actually. I take it back. I thought you had to hit it at like the end. Oh no, did I just get lucky that time? I think you just ha yeah. You have to be like near the end of the roll, like as you're coming out of it. It isn't like I can hit B like in the middle of it and it's good. But I, I mean, you can mash through it and it'll probably do what you want. But it's you know. You hit it at the end of the roll, and you'll do that little stab. You know, not super useful, but I enjoy rolling. And having a cool little rolling attack to, like, pop out of, it's fun. It's neat. Why not? Uh, is there anything else we can do up here? Um, I think that's it. We could head back to uh, the mine, uh, see if any of the miners want to um, uh, fuse kinstones with us. Which, knowing how this has been going... They're all going to have that one cut of green kinstone that we don't have. Um, and that'll be it, because I think we've done everything. We've checked checked out the town. Yeah, boot boot the bowl. I agree. Yeah, see? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, every, everybody just loves that one specific cut of um of the kinstone, and we just don't have any. I wonder if that's, like, the most common one, and we just haven't gotten it. Um, which, actually, is funny. Like, we started off this episode, and I was getting, like kinstones left and right but now do you have anything to say sanctuary oh you're still talking about the sanctuary i'm over the sanctuary it's all about kinstones now uh master malari and master malari oh. man a taste minish manish of taste and has a thing that we can do a fusion with and this fusion uh is actually a, a neat one uh, like whenever you see the question mark ones it always means something fun's gonna happen and this is one of my favorite kinds of fusions where you make a beanstalk grow you may remember earlier we talked to a minute. She was like, I planted a bean. It's not growing. 
Uh, wow, that worked out though. We were able to uh, make a thing happen. Unlike these these minish with the, the green fusions who are just busting our chops, I do want to fuse kinstones, but I don't want to fuse with. Uh, well, I was gonna say like, go talk to your friend. Your friend has that kind, but it isn't like you can't just slap the same two sides together. You know, like you see, you gotta have like the, the other, you you, under, you understand how things fit together. I I don't have to explain it. You're smarter than me. You get it. Um, but yeah, I guess we'll. Go um, do go check out these things since we're we're finding things. Maybe that one will have uh that that good that good red uh kinstone that I was looking for. Um, how we can come in here? We can see where they all sleep. You know, the seven dwarves or whatever. Also miners. I think we talked about this before. Not important. Um, I mean, I guess it is. You know, important. Like, oh well, here's like the fairy tale things that the the minish are being associated. Oh no, you do wanna you do wanna fuse kinstones. But you don't. Oh, in fact, I'm all out of green. Like, just chock a block out of green as a whole. Not even the uh, the delightful little color that you have that I don't seem to have. Um, so yeah, I guess you know a white picolite at 200 rupees. Assuming that you can get at least four kinstones, you'll have made your money back. Um, so maybe that's something we'll try at some point uh, if we're ever getting uh, kinstone desperate, which we probably will. Oh, also something I just wanted to sh point out. Uh, the Cave of Flames has all that steam coming off of it. If you remember when we were making our way up Mount Crenel, I hit a point where I was like, oh, hey, there's steam down there. I wonder if that's something that we could jump to and it's like a little sneaky sneakeret. Uh, but it wasn't a sneaky sneakeret. What it was was just um, the environment of the oh, of of the area. If I pause the game correctly and go to the map, and we can check, check the map. Uh, you can see that little gap that you jump over is right above the Cave of Flame. So the steam is just like the ca Cave of Flame. I'm hitting all the wrong buttons. There we go. Uh, I wanted to roll... I, okay, this is about to sound stupid, but I wanted to roll up the wall for extra speed. Um, oh, I, I, I know what we're trying. Actually, if we check our map... Yeah, luckily on our map, it even marks off where... Um, <clears throat> Uh, Kinstone fusion like related goodies have appeared so like we won't hit a point where I'll be like oh have we gotten well we may have a point where I'll be like oh have we gotten that uh, but it's marked on our map if we haven't gotten it so if there's something that I forgot about it'll be there but I guess we don't have like just a straight up and down checklist of all the fusions we've done I guess I could have made that but I'm not too bothered you know if we don't dun 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 dun, dun complete it you know we're gonna we're gonna try our best um to do everything and you know sometimes my best is i don't want to make a spreadsheet i make so many damn spreadsheets uh to keep track of things uh for for games and stuff I normally make like these really complicated um <clears throat> well not really complicated but really detailed uh notes for everything i want to do in a video game and like when i want to do it you know that kind of stuff uh th this one for this game i kind of took some basic notes of like oh i want to get this heart piece and and numbered them and stuff but that's also going to require me remembering um, what they are. So I, I, I can see my notes. It's like, well, I don't actually remember. Like, I was like, oh, heart piece by lake. It's like, cool, great, great description. Thank, thank you, me. Um, so it's like I don't have anyone to blame but myself. Um, but here we go. We're, we're at the we're at the the great big um, beanstalk. I'm, I almost a climb stock, and we can climb up the beanstalk. Uh, you know, just some some fun fairy tale things happening in this game. It's very cute. I uh, come up here and we get a heart piece. And some rupee. Oh, so close to the devil's number of rupees, uh, which would empower Lonk with the power of Satan. Uh, and then Vati would be in some fucking trouble. I'll tell you what. Vati out looking for a light force, and we show up like, hey, bro, we got the devil on our side. Whoops. Whoops. I, I guess you're not supposed to have the devil on your side. Sorry. Oh, ah, damn. I was hoping I could get out of there before either of these... Either of these uh, guys attack me. Get out of here. Just leave me alone, P-Hat. I don't want to fight you. You're annoying to fight because I have to wait for you to land and or do a different kind of attack to hit you. Uh, oh, I suppose I could have thrown our boomerang that we purchased at it. Um, but I didn't think to do that until we were already uh, squad -a We're off. Uh, we can come over here. And I think we might have had a few more uh, kinstone fusions we didn't pick up. Uh, but this episode's been going on quite a long time. Quite a, quite a while. Uh, and this one, darn, it's blue. I was hoping it'd be red. So we probably have a few more fusions that we could potentially check out, like um, uh, like not here on this map, but um, nothing on the the base of Mount Colonel either. Is there a quicker way to go through? Oh, Eleanor, Eleanor, no. hmm? 
uh, the Castor Wilds, which we're not going to look at that map. We haven't really been there. Trilby Highlands. Uh, there's that thing that appeared. We can't do anything with that. Uh, Western Wood. I think we could do something over there, um, even if it hasn't shown up on our map. Anything in town. Uh, the Merchant has appeared. Uh, and um, Marcy? I think her name was Marcy. She appeared. Nothing in North Hyrule Field. There's a, there's a thing here. We can't do anything about it. Uh, we've been in Vale Falls, but not really. Lon Lon Ranch. We know uh, Goron, Goron Cave, uh, the uh, chest that appeared whenever we helped out Malon. I think we actually might be able to get that one. I don't know what it is. It's probably not all that important. Uh, Lake Hylia, uh, one of the elements there on Lake Hylia. There, there's, uh, yeah, there's stuff in the, the woods. Okay, tell you what, just just to just to clear it up, <clears throat> rather than ending here, I'm gonna I'm gonna cut ahead. I'm gonna go uh, get those. I'm gonna get those last two things. The the thing from Malon and the thing from... I actually don't remember who that's from. And what the what the hell is this? Was this a direction that we came from? Or is this something we haven't done? Maybe this is the way we're supposed... Oh, this is the way we're supposed to go, right? Yeah, because I, I remember... I remember seeing these Helmer Rocks down. We got to the block puzzle. And then I was like, uh-oh. Have I been defeated by block puzzle? But no. Was not defeated by block puzzle. And I'm going to do it really smart and good. But I'm going to cut away. So you're just going to have to trust that I learned and did it really smart and good. Like... Yes, I did just throw myself into a hole so we could get the power of Satan. Hooray. You know, I was just running through town to get over where we're going, and I don't know what our max limit of rupees is, but if we have over 600, we might as well just go ahead and buy the bomb bag. Why the hell not? Yeah, big, bo big bomb bag, a bargain. Big bomb bag, a bargain. We can carry more bombs. Hooray. We are a big spender. Yes, thank you. Uh, what do you have for us now? Um, nothing. Okay, so we've bought an all... Boughten. We have purchased, bought all of the, uh, the the shop keeps wares. Oh, we didn't go into the baker's small. Oh, boy. Let's let's get small and go into the baker. I guess. I mean, we was gonna, we we're going to end it and call it there. But, hey, this is already such a long episode. Buckle, buckle in. It, it's too late to not have buckled in. We're... We're in it. We're going for it. And in fact, I mean, I guess y'all could stop. I mean, I guess I could stop and like cut together an episode or whatever. Oh, is there something doing here, huh? Oh, how do we like move this out of the way? Oh, no, no, no I see it there. Okay, there. I was like, there's nothing to do, but there's a uh, there's a little ladder here. I was misunderstanding because, like I said, it's, it's been a long recording. It's it's, it's going. Um, uh, hopefully, those those little um video segment things I've been doing have been useful. The bread Wheaton makes got to be has got to be the best bread in all of Hyrule. Yeah, no, I thought I saw a fusion up here after we had talked to them. Yo, sometimes I sneak off with a little nib nibble of leftover bread. This isn't a little nibble. It's a full-on cookie. Which is like that's a and that's that's a whole like slice of bread. That's not that's not a little nibble for y'all. That's like I am now going to eat my entire weight in cookie, which is like, damn, that would be the life. <laughs> what a wonderful smell. Um, oh, look, this one with the pink clothes. That's cute. We just love bread. Yeah, same. We all do. Don't worry. You're among friends. 100 rupee. Thank you for rupee. Goodbye. Okay, so there's just 100, 100 of them in there. 100 of the, the big ones. The simoleons are... Fa oh, hey, there's a vine that we can climb. Neat. Don't know what we're going to do now that we're small and up here. I guess we can get into this place. Boy, I thought... I thought we were... Oh. Heart piece. It all worked out. I'm the fool here. I'm I'm the one who was like, oh, I'm losing my mind because recording is going on. Also, I'm getting a little bit hungry. And what am I even going to do now that I'm small up here? What I'm going to do is I'm going to get an entire damn heart piece. Uh, and I, I, I was wrong all along, and I apologize. Can I jump down? Oh, big jump. Big jump, little onk. That's how it goes. Uh, and, and there we go. That... That should be town stuff for now. I probably missed something here. Uh, there's probably someone I could fuse kinstones with and make events and adventures happen. But for now, whatever. Whatever. We're good. Um, let's uh, move on. Oh, also, I guess if you ever need rupees, you can always do um, um, Anju's game. I don't know if she's called Anju in this game. And I, uh, for a second, I almost called her Crimea, just because Anju and Crimea are friends, even though Crimea is a is a uh, Malon, not a Anju. And uh, yeah, the school's still blocked off. Nothing we can do about that. But we can come up here, and we saw Malon's chest appear over here. 
and we can go and get that. I think maybe because we can we can enter the um, <clears throat> veil. Veil Falls, yeah. We come over here, we can see some scary P-hats uh, carrying bombs. I don't know if they're like... Oh, there was a lever. And we saw a blue lever before we saw a red one. Oh, 200, just 200 roops. You know, money will always be useful to us. Um, probably? Like, I mean, we've, we've bought a lot of stuff um, of like the, the big things that we'll probably need. Uh, I don't know. There'll probably be story things later where we need money. Whatever. You know, there's, there's the kinstone. There's always the kinstones. We can't forget about that. That heart piece? How do I get you? Hmm. Don't know how to get that heart piece. Um, if we were able to swim, we'd probably swim on over. Where am I going again? What am I doing? Oh, we're trying to get, um, it's, it's the last, last, uh, thing that we had unlocked was, yeah, there's a little scroll over there. Was that a treasure chest? I'm actually not sure what that is. I don't know. I have to do the, the cyclone, uh, thing again to get over there. You know, now that I think about it, this isn't even the part of uh, of the Minish Woods, or Lake Hylia Minish Woods, uh, that I wanted to get to. I was trying to get to the other spot. Why, the, why did I come over here? In fact, this doesn't even loop around the way I thought it would, because, yeah, this is going to take us down into the Minish Woods. It's where we fought the Gold Ock Rock. Um, this is where Syrup lives, and I don't think Syrup has, like, a little dropped in. Ah, oh, damn it. For some reason, I thought this, like, area can... Like, I guess it's not that far off, because we just got to walk around, but uh, I confuse myself about where things are. And, uh, yeah, like this, yeah, no way to get across unless we were able to swim, which unfortunately, not part of our repertoire. Oop, not what I want to do. What I want to do is I just wanted to complain about the, the, the attack roll, because I remember never really using it all that much. Like, it's a thing that I would think would be very useful, because it's like, oh, you know, you roll, you attack, you know, it'd be cool. Like, like these Octoroks, like, if we, if we, you know, to, to do it, we have to figure out the spacing, so we got to make sure we have enough spacing, then we kind of, oh, hey, when you hit them, you do a little spin attack, which is neat. But like, you know, to you gotta you gotta line up the attack right. Um, and also, and this is the part I'm gonna complain about, not just like, oh, as an attack, it's not that useful. Because if you gave me the ability to do a little attack roll, like as part of, wait, wait don't let me go up there. If you gave me the ability to do an attack roll, I'm just going to do it. Cause you've seen me roll just cause it's like, I don't know if it's any faster. It feels like it's faster, so I'm going to do it. But when you do the attack roll, you uh, can't just immediately roll again like you can with the normal roll. You get locked into the attack. So you can't just like spam roll the way I am one to spam roll. And now we've come down here to pick up our chest. It's probably gonna have like 100 groups or so. Oh, Kinstone. Oh my God, if this is the Kinstone that we needed, and then this, this episode is just gonna keep on going then baby. Oh wait, I, I went to look at the map, but the map doesn't have our Kinstones. It was the one we needed. Thank you. I was gonna thank Malon, but that wasn't the one that Malon gave us. Malon gave us uh, the 100 groups. Well, that's neat that the rocks have, like, drop-offs so they end up falling in a hole. That's a neat little, like, feature that you would... Like, how often are you going to see, like, a Octorok spit a rock into a hole? Damn, that's neat. Oh, uh, but yeah, this episode's been a ride. Um, I had been, like, sitting down and, like, trying to, like, uh, like figure out all the things I wanted to do. Because, you know, this is a side questy episode. A lot of stuff happening. And I was like, ah, oh, boy, what am I going to do? I'm never going to remember all this and all of the, the variables of, oh, who has kinstones? Like, you used to have a kinstone fusion for us, but you're not... You don't want to trade anymore, so I'm guessing that we we did it, and it's good, and every, everything's fine. Uh, but, uh, oh, you know what? I think I might have misunderstood. Uh, there was a Minish earlier who gave us uh, a hint about the land of beasts, and I was like, oh, it was Purry, but there's two cats in here. You know, where Purry is, that's a land of beast singular. That's a land of beasts. That makes more sense for um, the thing we hear. In fact, are we able to get over there? I don't think we're able to do that just yet uh, anyway, so whatever. We'll, we'll worry about that another time. But the important thing is we're able to help out the stranger, and now we don't have to worry about um, uh, this time sensitiveness to this. Uh, I will say the dungeon before... The dungeon before where I think the cutoff is, I'll say... Uh, but I'm not 100% sure because people are like, oh, you have to do it before you get this thing. But to me, it would seem like you should have to do it earlier than that. So we'll, we'll see what it means. It does, it's, it's not important because we've done it now. And we don't have to worry about implications or anything. We don't have to learn because we have... By action, we have succumbed knowledge. Knowledge? Who needs it? 
We, we did a thing. It's whatever. It's all good. And I shouldn't be hitting. I'm, I'm like smacking my controller a different way because I went to scratch my eyebrow. And then I was like, I'm just going to just smack the button. But that probably sounds bad in, on the mic. <clears throat> By doing this fusion, we've created this little glowing like egg. It's cracked egg. But it's not just a cracked egg. It's a warp that takes us to a place we've never been before. And I hope it doesn't show up on the map because that would be a little bit of a spoiling. I would get a green kinstone piece, which I appreciate because, oh, two greens. Mwah. Appreciate that a whole lot because I am lacking in green akinstones. We have a person who looks like a stranger over here. Goodness, we rarely get visitors here. Tell me, how did you get here? Well, I would, but I speak to you again and it doesn't say anything. Um, I suppose I could check the map. Um, I'm going to check the map like after I finish recording to make sure like it doesn't um, spoil anything. Nobody believes me, but I saw a ghost that has taken hold of granddad. Well, I will help you with that, because I do not want your granddad to be beset by ghosts. Um, yeah, that does not look like a happy ghost at all. I can't believe old Gregel is sick. He was looking so healthy. I guess something just took hold of him. And y'all can't see it. Only only us kind children can see it. Um, so now we gotta, we got to deal with ghosts. Oh, and well, I've checked map. You can see where we are on map, but uh, it's not spoiling uh, what what this location is, which I'm glad for. And also, I accidentally, now I don't have to go check because I accidentally went through map. In my youth, I was called Gregel the Great. I was even a little famous, but lately my limbs have grown heavy and I can't even stand up. Well, that's a shame, buddy. Can I speak? Is there anybody here? Do you want to speak to me? What are you? Doesn't matter. We're, we're, we've seen Ghostbusters. We, we get what's happening here. We got the perfect Ghostbusting device. A gust jar. Yeah, come on. Come on, buddy. Get away. Get away from old Greggle. Come on. There, there I got to chase you down. What, what I got to do? Yeah, here we go. Get in here. And just like that. Do you have a cone head? You like a cone? Like one of the cone head aliens? Well, well, well. Look at how the color has come back to his face. How can I ever thank you? I still have a hard time believing he'd, he'd been possessed by a monster, though. So yeah, this is a time-sensitive thing, because if uh, if this ghost possesses Gregel for too long, Gregel will die? What? An evil spirit had taken hold of me, and you drove it away? You you might be right. I can already feel my energy returning. I'll be able to get out of bed soon. What's your name? Lunk the second. Thank you, my boy. You've saved me. And we get 100 mysterious seashells, which is your, like, short-term reward, but there is a long-term re reward to it as well. Yeah, everyone's going to believe you now. Don't worry. Took care of it. I ghost busted the hell out of it. So this is a side quest that I don't know if I've ever done because I was looking at the reward for it and I was like, I don't recall it this being in the game. Uh, so there's that. And that's the episode, baby. Oh, hi. I didn't see you there once again. So still editing and looking through my notes and I realized that there were actually two heart pieces I had written down in my notes uh, that we could have collected. And, you know, I probably won't be collecting every heart piece as immediately as it's available. But this one was a... Uh just off to the right if i had just walked a little bit farther we came to get the uh the thing from when we fused kinstones from alan it, it would have been easy but i didn't walk all the way to the right i just eyes on the prize went straight for for the 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 chest that had like 100 rupees in it as opposed to a heart piece heart piece argue worth a little bit more than that uh and there is one more one more thing we could have come and gotten and i just totally blanked on it because um we got the uh the little Pegasi booties, and now oh, now we can press start instead of A, as I will continue to do, uh, because we saw one of those weirdo trees over in Lon, Lon Ranch, and I just ended up forgetting about it, because, hey, you're probably done with this episode. It's been a long one. It, it, you know, oh, look, you can see the, um, <clears throat> the fence off to the side. That's really cute. We got some new blue pestos who are going to want to drop some things on us, but I'm too good. Oh, Oh boy, I'm so glad we came here, because um, I wanted to talk about these bad boys as soon as we could see them, uh, if you could come out. So this enemy, you know, it's, it's a little earthworm, you know, it's, it's cute or whatever, but its name is a Moldworm, as opposed to the Moldorms that are enemies famous in Legend of Zelda series. They're in a bunch of them. Uh, the, the Moldorms, in a long-established enemy. There have been basic enemy versions, boss versions. Moldorms are all over the place, but well, now there's also Moldworms. And they function a lot like Moldorms in that, well, they're a little bit slower, less chaotic than Mold Moldorms. But, you know, they're long, they slither. That's like a Moldorm to me. And uh, that's what we missed from my notes. Whew, that was a, that was a, that was a long in. It was a long in, wasn't it? But we got a lot of stuff. We did a lot of things. Uh, so next episode, we'll head back out to the Castor Wilds. 
uh, and find the next dungeon. Maybe even do the next dungeon. Who knows? I don't know anything. I'm trying my best. This is, goodbye. Oh, hi. I didn't see you there. Just kidding. I saw you this time, and I am so sorry about this episode's uh, link. It kind of got away from me. There were a lot of things I wanted to do, and didn't realize it would uh, get that out of control. I'm so sorry. Um, but I thought of something fun we could do for the end of every episode, if possible, would be to read a new issue of the Swordsman's Newsletter. Uh, you're only able to read a new one, so you unlock one for every single Tiger Scroll you get. Uh, so if we're able to, and we have the Tiger Scrolls to do it, figured at the end of every episode we can come and read an issue. And we've we've already heard Marcy's pitch on the Swordsman's Newsletter being filled with useful advice, but we've never actually said yes to wanting to buy one. I forgot which buttons did which again. Whoops. Thanks for supporting local business. Remember, they come out as swift as a blade stroke, so checked often. And we've purchased it, but we don't we don't see it. You have to leave the building, come back in. It's it's a video game. It works that way sometimes. And this news this newsletter costs two hundred rupees for a reason. It's because it's a big old damn book, not just a simple pamphlet or such. This is the Swordsman's Newsletter number one. Would you like to read it? I sure would. Swordsman's newsletter Swordsman's Swordsman Newsletter number one. Some walls go boom. It may look like a regular wall but it may be something you can blow up. There's actually an easy way to tell, and I'm here to teach you. Build up the power in your sword and start stabbing the wall. If you pay attention, you'll find that some spots make a different sound. Continue reading, of course, of course. Teach us, teacher. Monsters got you? Don't give up. Start mashing buttons. You might be able to escape quickly. Continue reading, of course. Swift Blade's gossip column, the magical boomerang. Somewhere in Hyrule, you can find an incredibly handy boomerang. It's designed so you can change its direction after you throw it. Or, so I've been told. But it's just a rumor. Swiftblade, signing off. That's it for our first issue. We plan to bring you helpful questing hints every week, rain or shine. Be sure to check with your local post office for future issues. See you in issue two. Until next time, warriors.